Yo, what's up, y'all? How are you doing today? Thank you, Bravo. I appreciate it. What's going on, guys? Hey, we only got a couple days left until our motherfucking trip, dude. What's up, motherfucking? Hey, three weeks of consistency. Let's go. I know. Get a haircut in Europe. I know. Fucking try, like I said, I'm shaving all this before I go to Europe. I tried to grow out a beard. I try. I really, I really want a beard to look good on me, but it never ever does. <laughs> I always try to. I always pretend a beard's gonna look good, but it never does, dude. So I'm just like, all right, let's just like fuck it, dude. Honestly, thank you, real Jordan. Appreciate it. No, I'll just shave it before I go, bro. What's up? But hey, what's up, guys? How the fuck you doing? Let me see. Why does your hair look very off? Looks very disheveled. What do you mean? What, I don't know what disheveled means, but what's up, dude? Yeah, I mean, I get. I don't know. I only look homeless because of this. Like I said, just I'll get rid of this and it's fine. It's not a big deal. So no big deal. It's fine. What's up? Ah, dude, I'm excited. I'm ready. Today we finished off the I will finish today. I finished buying the last bit of my equipment. So I'm ready to go. I have everything ready now. We just wait until Saturday. Well, Saturday is when I fly out and then I started on Monday. So we're probably going to stream in uh, Amsterdam on Sunday. And, you know, have a, a day of, like, relaxation before we get into the whole fucking traveling and crazy shit. So, I'm excited. It's going to be good. Today, I also recorded a video. I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel just uh, talking about the Europe trip. So, I'll put that, uh, you know, probably, like, tomorrow or something. So, <clears throat> I'm excited for it. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate it. Voldesad flies out tomorrow. So, that's unfortunate. But, you know, he flies back to L.A. But it's been nice hanging out with him. Today or yesterday, we drove all the way back from Kansas City. It was awful. I wanted to, I was thinking about doing a stream in Kansas when I was there, uh, besides, you know, with Tony, but, you know, there wasn't really anything to do in Kansas uh, that you can't, that we haven't done anywhere else. You know what I mean? Uh, Casey Tron said she was busy and uh, Tony was busy with his stream. So I was like, all right, let's just go back to Austin. That was a fucking awful. 12 hour drive, but it's all good. Boldest Head did all the driving, so <laughs> that was nice for me. Oh, oh yeah, Hyphonics. Yo, I saw that Hyphonics got fucking banned on Twitch. What the fuck happened with that? I have no idea. That sounds awful, dude. I, I saw, yeah, I saw that he got banned. I mean, I think it was because he said the, uh, the M word, right? I don't know. Like, I don't want to say it because YouTube's cracking down on their, on their shit. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm I got all the mixer shit set up, so I uh, I had to apply to or for like the thing on mixer so I could stream during the trips. They did like a, a stream review thing or something, but I we applied for that, so we're all good. I miss you. I miss the old times. Please don't give me a typical monotone response. Hey, well, thank you, Mac. I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, hey, listen, happiness comes every so often here. It's, you know, it's up and down. That's, you know, just the way life works. But uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the Europe trip, the motherfucking ass Europe RV trip. It's going to be fun. We're going to go to, I mean, I don't know, probably most countries, like I said. I think the highlight of the trip is going to go to, is going to, uh, to Ukraine and Chernobyl. I don't know if there's exactly like internet there, but we're going to try. I looked it up and it says there's internet, so we're gonna try. I don't know, but you know, I think that'll be the highlight. That'll be fun as fuck. But we'll see. Um, yeah, no, I yeah the M word, fucking the word, the, the the mongoloid word. So I think Hyphonics got banned for saying mongoloid, which is like to be honest, I didn't even know what a, I didn't even know what a mongoloid was before I even fucking looked it up, dude. Like, I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, what does that word even mean? I looked it up, and apparently it's like a, like an offensive word for Asians. And I'm like, really? Like, I don't know. I didn't even know. Like, I thought, I, I really thought that word was like a meme. Like, not a meme, but like, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like a, because I've heard it a lot on, like, in chat rooms, like, on the internet and stuff. So I, I was just like, all right. There's no way that's like a bad word, but no, I guess it is. But I mean, I guess in America, we just don't know that because, you know, it's like a fucking Asian word or something. So I don't know. I really hope he's not perm, but he just got unbanned a few months ago. So 
I don't know. I mean, it's not looking too uh, – too, and he's not a partner either, so it's not looking too good. But hopefully, you know, I give him, I give him my hope. Hope I give him my – I give him my uh, – I have faith for him, so hopefully it works out. Otherwise, you know, he just moved to Florida and everything, so that would suck ass if, you know, if he's perm. But, you know, I guess we'll see. <clears throat> it's also a word you can use instead of retard. Yeah, well, I mean, can you get banned on Twitch for saying the word retard? Like, I don't know. I guess it is. It's also like a down syndrome, like a word that you say for somebody with Down syndrome. But, uh, I mean, if you can't get banned for retard, why would you get banned for mongoloid? So, I don't know. Are you going to meet Greek? Well, we're not going to the UK, so I... I don't think I will be meeting him this time around, but uh, yeah, the UK is, you know, it's an island, so we can't drive there. I mean, maybe we could like take a ferry or something, but why? There's other, I've been to the UK so many times, there's other fucking places to go. Like, I want to go to places I've never fucking been to before, so I don't need to go back to the UK. I don't even like the UK, to be honest. Uh, XQC and Soda use retard at least 100 times a stream. Well, then, I don't know why he would get banned for that, then. I don't know, but I mean, I guess we'll see uh, what happens, I guess, right? You'll be in UK next RuneFest anyway? Yeah, I mean, there's potentially. I don't know yet, potentially, base goes. Pretty sure I'm going to RuneFest, but I don't really know yet. It depends what my schedule looks like here because I don't want to go, I don't want to fly back from Europe and then like have to go right back to it. That would be fucking awful. So I don't know, to be honest, but it is what it is. But yeah, we're leaving Saturday. Dope as fuck. Everything's set up. Adrian Chen's coming. Motherfucking last, uh, last what's the word uh last motherfucking ass um i don't know what the word is i'm fucking tired right now but last it last not i don't know what the word is my my mind just went fucking blank yeah like uh he just said he wanted to go and i'm just like all right why not fuck it ebz can't go let's go come on i got an extra bed so he'll he'll uh he'll write a story on the behind the scenes or something, I don't know. He said, motherfucking, he wants to do some, he wants to see the behind the scenes of everything. So I'm like, all right, I mean, shit, all the shit will be streamed. We're going to have a fucking 24-hour cam, so it's not really behind the scenes. But yeah, let's go. I fucking, I, I fuck with it, dude. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Let me see. F it, no more, more no content Andes, bro. I mean, to be fair, Machine Elf, it don't matter. At the end of the day, it, it at the end of the day, Adrian Chen's not going to, like, he's not content, bro, but he's a good guy to have like he's just a nice guy so i don't know at the end of the day motherfucking ass just going around europe traveling a bunch of people will be fun it'll be that will be the content that will be fun so and then you know obviously i'll stream motherfucking irl and all these different places i haven't been to so that'll be good too <clears throat> the problem with everyone on the trip's a nice guy uh i mean not necessarily ropey i mean what are you talking about I mean, yeah, everyone on the trip does get along, but that's how I planned for it to be. I don't want people to be fighting, having physical fights and stuff on the fucking trip. That does not sound like it would last for three weeks. <laughs> so this sounds like it would last for a week. So I, you know what I mean? If you wanted to last three weeks, it's got to be like not just not AIDS and motherfucking people fighting. But you never know how things will go. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I mean... I feel like Grimoire might get on someone's nerve, but I mean, at the end of the day, it won't be that big of a deal. It'll just be funny, so. We need our Ebenezer. Hey, well, he doesn't have a passport, unfortunately, so. You can't, uh, you can't get past that. I mean, he said he can only get it in January, so it's all good. You're going to see Kiara. Well, Kiara's in, uh, she's in the U.S. right now, but I'm going to be leaving before she comes to Austin. I think she's coming to Austin next week. But I'll be gone. You know, we'll be in Europe. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to see Kiara Kitty. But, uh, you know, another time, obviously. But then you have to do the pressing, bro. Ropey, I, I always do the pressing. It's all good. I do that gay shit. I do the gay pressing. What's up? <laughs> oh, man. Have you heard anything from TSA? Well, I've, I mean, I've. Uh, he told me he bought his flight. Uh, we're in a group chat together on Twitter. So, with everyone who's coming. So, uh, yeah. I mean, he said he got a flight and he'll meet, he'll meet me over there. So. We'll see how that goes. It'll be good as fuck. Did you ever hear back from Twitch and is Mixer going to give you a sub button or not? See if Hyphonics can go. <laughs> haven't heard anything back from Twitch and I haven't heard anything back from Mixer. Um, to be fair, I don't think I'm I don't think I've been being consistent enough on Mixer to get a sub button, to be fair. Then that's only my fault. But Eh, whatever, you know, maybe one day I'll get it, but uh, I I can't consistently stream on Mixer, dude. I I don't like I'm not going to give up the members that I have on YouTube 
to consistently stream on Mixer. I mean, I guess I could just stream anyways every day on Mixer and YouTube, but I'm pretty much going to be doing that for the fucking Europe trip anyways. So if I can't get a sub button by the end of the three weeks, then I don't know what to say. That's pretty unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to get it by the end of the three weeks. Otherwise... I don't know, then I guess I just ain't cut out for it. You only stream four or five times a month, maybe even 10. Hey, hey, sometimes 10 a month. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know I haven't been very consistent lately, but that's why we're going on this trip because it's going to make it much, uh, you know, it's going to be much more fun for me to to want to consistently stream every day because we're going to actively have things to do. So, you know, that's going to be really good. Uh, is it scuffing right now? What the fuck? It's not. No, there's no way it's effing because I have green bars right now and motherfucking have some on my internet, my ethernet. So, I mean, it, maybe it's like scuffing every so often. I, I don't know. It shouldn't be lagging, but I, I don't know. It says that it's good on my side. I thought you said 100 people, 100 viewers of Mixer make 60K. Yeah, if your partner, Daniel, if your partner. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, that's also what somebody told me. I don't have any proof of that. This is what I was told. So I'm just going based on that. But. You know, you also have to be partner, and you know, obviously, Adrian's not partner. I think for me, is wondering if it's just me. Really, it's lagging. Is it lagging right now? Let me see settings. Let me lower my bit rate from eight thousand to four thousand. Not forty thousand, four thousand. There we go. I don't know. It's good on my side though. Why is everyone on the trip normal besides Grimoire? Well, Daniel, who would you suggest? Because. You know, obviously, I'm not, I don't want to take some people that are, you know, going to be causing problems. So, I don't know if you say normal. I mean, if you guys enjoyed the stream that are the, Can, the Canada streams with Gary or the Japan streams, then, you know, basically probably that vibe, but three weeks long with more people. So, you know, I guess it sort of depends on what vibe you're looking for. Uh, you know what I mean? So... Are you being lazy about your studio idea and keep putting it off, or did you ditch that plan? Well, I haven't ditched the plan, but obviously there's some other priorities uh, that have come up. But uh, you know, we'll see how you know what happens. But I don't know. So if, I mean, if the trip goes well for three weeks, we could do it. But I just I, the, 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 I'm just worried about the studio because I don't know. I, I just I don't know if it's going to be something that works out and if it doesn't work out then it's a lot of money to spend for something not to work out so you know i'm just obviously worried about it like i did find one and everything and you know all that shit but it's like it, it's it's a commitment because you have to sign a lease <laughs> so i don't want to be stuck with a fucking lease for this thing that i don't use anymore after a month because it's not working out so um, and I tried looking on peer space to rent out just like a, a thing for like a week or something and see if it works out, but it's, you can't really do that on peer space. You know, if you rent out something on peer space for a week, it's really expensive. And also the studios are fucking not great. So the alternative is doing nothing. I mean, Hey. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's not doing nothing, but, uh, you know, you just, I'm just scaling the odds or scaling the, the things here to see if it works out or not. But, you know, let's just worry about the trip, the three week trip right now, instead of having to worry about the studio. Are you only going to do travel streams now? No, that's no, I'm not only going to do travel streams, but, um, like I said, there's an, another priority has come up that also will cost me some money. So uh i just have to be careful with it that's all it will come though in due time i'm sure yeah moonchild i already have the, the the thumbnail and the poster and all that shit ready to go so i, I we have everyone who's coming you already know who's coming huh? honestly haven't had much time in the last few months to watch too often be see it focusing on youtube just wanted to know how you've been the last few months all good. What's up, Skeppy? How you doing? Hey, I'm good, bro. How you been doing? I'm just, I've been chilling out, bro. Just hang, just hanging, doing my thing. You know what I mean? So, so living life over here in Austin, but 
And we're going on a trip, uh, Europe trip, in fucking, what, four days, five days? Saturday, so it's going to be good. Kim, Kimberly's pregnant, confirmed. No, she's not. I mean, listen, if she was pregnant, you would know. You'd see a big old belly, and you'd see fucking baby shit all over the place. But no, that's not the, no, that's, I don't even understand how people can get their girlfriends pregnant on accident or whatever. So it's so easy to not have that happen through turn through like you know normal means but i'm also you know we don't have sex you know chastity belt type shit as you guys are saying in the chat so that also helps avoid all of that <clears throat> yeah she will daniel she's uh i think kimberly's gonna stream a little bit and uh we do go on the trip as well on twitch i think she's gonna stream uh in the rv a little bit so that'll be interesting Condoms break? Yeah, but Moonchild, if you're dating somebody long-term, you don't need a condom. There's other means of, of you know, things, contraception and stuff. You know, for anybody who's in a long-term relationship, so. I feel like if you're dating somebody for longer than four months, you don't, like, and if you're still wearing condoms, I, I don't get it. Like, why the fuck would you even do that? Like, they feel like shit, and it's nothing, dude, so. Like, they, they don't feel good, so. There's definitely other means. Thank you, dude. Fucking apocalyptic. Appreciate that, homie. Did you see Chris Hansen's latest Twitter video on you? No, I didn't. Let me see. What is Chris Hansen's latest? What is Chris Hansen's Twitter, dude? <laughs> latest Twitter video. Let's see. Is it this one? What is this? Ice Poseidon, modern day streaming shock jock, or is there something more disturbing going on on Discord? Check out my live show Wednesday, 8 Eastern, on my YouTube channel, Hanson vs. Predators. Alright, I'll be watching. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. This fucking guy, bro. Hey, listen, Chris, how about this? How about this, Chris? I know you are trying to grow your YouTube channel and get motherfucking become a streamer or whatever the fuck. I have no idea. How about this? Why don't you come to Europe with me? Then you can really understand who I really am and what I do. All right, you got a, we got a nice comfy bunk bed for you right in the trip. All right, I know that you have to... I know you're in debt a little bit with, uh, I don't know, whatever you got arrested for, for fucking scamming mugs or something. So, bro, we can pay that off. Come on the trip. Or I don't know, he got fucking arrested for like, I don't know, not paying for his merch or something. Something like that. I really have no idea. But <laughs> I don't know, bro. If you're trying to pay the mugs off, bro, I got you. Don't worry. Come on the trip. <clears throat> Your trip with the Predator Hunter. I mean, hey, listen, we can take him and go to Amsterdam. We can see what's going on with the sex trafficking over there. Make a real story, bro. Don't, instead of talking about Discord and and nonsense. Am I coming to Lithuania? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I'll probably stop in it. I mean, I don't know, though, to be honest. I have an itinerary. We're probably going to stick to that and maybe deviate a little bit from it. But we'll see, I guess. I mean, I feel, I feel like there's nothing in Lithuania. So what would be the point of going there, you know, to see fucking potatoes and dirt? So, yeah, and we'll be going back to Italy. Yeah, of course. You know, all, all the major places, at least. Why didn't you make the vid with Nerd Baller TV? I, I was in fucking Kansas. I was in Kansas. I was, I mean, I fucking, I, I told him that I was in Kansas. I actually told him too late, though, and that was my fault. But I said I was going to Kansas, and I'll be back, uh, you know, motherfucking today. So, unfortunate, but, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I don't want to bore you guys with a long-ass fucking drive, either. So, I didn't stream the drive, but. Uh, I'm sure I'll be able to do some with Nerd Baller in the future as well. So that's good. Chris trying to grow subs, bro. No, I don't know. I don't know what Chris is doing, bro. I, I think he's just trying to be a... I, I think Chris is trying to start a YouTube channel because... I mean, I don't know, to be honest. I, I need to talk to him. I, I don't really know the guy, so... I just think he's trying to start a YouTube channel because NBC uh, didn't work out or something, so... Why are you so against driving streams? They're so easy money. We're entertained for hours. I mean, they're not. I wouldn't say you're entertained by a driving stream. Is it easy money? Sure. But I 
I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't want to stream 12 hours of me driving or in a car. That's fucking stupid. So, you know, I feel like there's nothing there. So, you know, it's just, it's just watching me fucking drive a car. It's fucking boring. Are you going to use the overlay where it says your mood? I mean, I definitely could. So we have my website. We're going to put the mixer stream and the YouTube stream on my website. And, you know, when I use the live view, I could do the overlays that uh, show my mood and my heartbeat and everything. So it just depends if you guys really want that, uh, you know, and on the stream with the overlays, because <clears throat> it is interesting, but it's it's like, I don't want, I don't want my highlight videos because I'm going to make highlight videos. I don't want my highlight videos to have my fucking mood and stuff on it. So I'd have to record it raw as well. I think what I would do is only put the heartbeat monitor instead. I think that adds because then I could put it in the highlight videos and it would make more sense. So I don't think we're going to do the mood thing. I think we're just going to do the uh, the heartbeat uh, monitor and stuff. But then again, Phineas was the one who made the heartbeat app. And I haven't talked to Phineas in a while. So I don't even know how to do the heartbeat thing right now. So I have to figure it out. I think uh, so. the person working on my website right now, he could probably do like a heartbeat monitor app uh, that he can just make up real quick. And that's probably what we'll do. What's up, Narbra? How you doing, bro? Stop lying. You're not gonna make highlight videos. No, I plan to uh, get my editor, and we're gonna, we're gonna, or Chad's editor, and uh, hopefully uh, we can make some good old highlight videos from the trip. I mean, what's the point of going on a trip if there's no highlight videos? You know what I mean? So I kind of have to. I haven't made any highlight videos in a while. Just, I mean, just because we haven't really done much. But this whole trip should be, you know, having some good highlights. So. Actually, I should have made highlight videos for Japan, but yeah, I just didn't. I was, uh, <clears throat> I just, I don't know. I just fucking didn't, but trust me, we will. We're going to put it, we're going to make the, the highlights. What's up, Swamp Dweller? How you doing, bro? I'm stoked for it too. I'm, I am super excited. I mean, I'm kind of tired right now, so you can't really see the excitement, but I'm really, really excited. We're, I'm going to be going to all the places I didn't visit and it's going to be sick as fuck and it's going to be, I don't know. It'll just help me <clears throat> not be so lazy as well, hopefully, because, uh, you know, for three weeks, there's I have nothing else to do but stream, so I am going to stream consistently for three weeks. Probably going to take, you know, one, at most, one day off a week, you know what I mean, for the three weeks, but, uh, you know, it just depends. And I'm, gonna, I'm saying I'm going to take at least, at least one day off per week for three weeks because... You know, I'm definitely going to want to do stuff with Kimberly off stream. Like, go have a fucking nice dinner somewhere <laughs> in Italy. You know what I mean? And, you know, not have it be on stream because then it's less genuine between uh, me and her. So, but, you know, obviously for the most part, it'll all be streams. So three days off on a vacation. I mean, hey, it's not a vacation. It's it's streaming, bro. It's like it's work. But, you know, the days that I would have off would be the vacation part, I suppose. Are you looking to stream more consistently again after the trip? I mean, I always want to stream consistently, believe it or not. I just don't know what the fuck to do here. You know what I mean? So, and I don't want to go live every day just talking or doing gaming streams. So that's like just the only thing. I mean, I do do gaming streams. I did the WoW streams for two days, but you know what I mean, right? Like, I just, I don't know. Who you replacing with Gary? He's not going anymore. What do you mean? When did Gary say he's not going anymore? Just get drunk with Kim on Sixth Street every day, though, bro. I'll turn into a fucking alcoholic. Yeah, no, Gary's definitely going. He had a donation goal for the for the flight or whatever. Then why are you live right now? Well, I mean, you know, cause like I do like to talk. I like to go live. I like to talk hang out with chat but you know just not every single day this because it just it will feel like i don't know I don't, it just seems disappointing if i did this every day right so i don't know you should do camping stream in europe except have supplies those end up like canada i mean we, we're gonna have an rv so we could go camping every day we'll be fucking camping basically when we go park in somewhere to sleep so Yeah, the, the plan still stays the same, Narbra. 24-hour cam on Mixer with the mix play, so we have the lights and other shit going on when you donate Sparks, and then IRL on YouTube. 
going live because you're broke, fake or real. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, why not both? Let's hang out before you leave for you. Oh, Stevie, come over this weekend. Or come over. I'm leaving on Saturday, so come over like Thursday then. Or Friday or something, dude. Is Grim confirmed? Well, she said she was coming, so I would hope so. Will you ever visit Egypt? Uh, one day I'll visit Egypt, but, you know, I'm kind of still a little bit scared to go to Egypt because of all of the political stuff going on over there. But, you know, one day I do want to see the pyramids. Do you have a mixer deal or something? I do not have a mixer deal. If I had a mixer deal, I'd probably be streaming exclusively on mixer, but I am not. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just a mint flavor. If you ever get a manager, you just put them in charge of your Twitter updates. So you know what's going on. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll ever give anyone my Twitter to post update, like to post stuff for me, because then it's not me who's posting, and that just seems fucking. Uh, you know, when when I when when you see my Twitter, you probably want me. You probably want to hear from me. You know what I mean? You don't want to hear from my fucking manager. So uh, probably wouldn't do that. But I will obviously be using Twitter a lot more on this trip. So there's just nothing. There's nothing to tweet out. Like, there's been nothing to fucking tweet. I mean, I guess updates and stuff, but like I said, it's, I don't know. I just don't have anything to fucking do here, so. You'll get kidnapped in Egypt? Well, that's what I'm, I don't know. I might, that's why I'm saying I'm scared, so, to go there. All the political stuff, but, you know, I don't know. But yeah, Gary is definitely going. I mean, he's alive right now. Let's see, what is Gary doing? Or he was alive. Let's see. Good old Gary motherfucking ass, the producer. Let's see. Well, he was. Not anymore. What's that? Oh, Laura. This is not... By the way, Laura Eclipse RV. That's not really her, is it? Let me see. Is that really you? Or is this a fucking troll? This has got to be a troll. This isn't you, for sure. Hold on. Camera. Gary said he's only going to go if you pay him 300 a day. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, bro, a free ride around Europe? Who wouldn't go to that? What do you mean? Motherfucking ass, you're trolling. No, this is a fake Laura. I know. I No, I'm pretty sure. It's got to be fake. It don't matter. Yo, Laura, what's up? How you doing? Fucking. Why, why, why the heart emoji? Why are you doing that for? Come on. Are you going to join his Discord this trip so you can see the memes? Uh, what Discord? What are you talking about, Kinky Katie? Are you talking about Gary's Discord? I should join Gary's Discord. I haven't actually been in it. I should actually go in it, though. Just to see what stuff. I usually just stay in my Discord, though. Because, uh, I mean, I don't know. Why not? Why would, I, why would I go to anyone else's Discord when I just have my own? 300 a day plus transportation. That's not what he said. You're fucking fucking with me, dude. Yeah, okay. 300 a day plus transportation and food. Listen. We're going to go to the fucking Europe Walmart. We're going to buy food, put it in the fridge and the RV, and then that'll be our food. All right? We're going to ration the food. That'll be our fucking food for, a, for three weeks. All right? Or we'll go to the grocery shopping, you know, once a week. That'll be our fucking food. So, it's all good. What's up, Bronix? How you doing, bro? We're going everywhere, Negan. We're going fucking literally everywhere, so don't worry. Who's gonna be do? Who's gonna do the majority of the driving on the RV? Well, to be honest, since I fucking hate driving, I'll probably drive a little bit. But since I fucking hate driving, I'll probably just force Adrian Chen to do it. I mean, to be fair, he's the last one to go. He just bought his ticket. He's the last person to show up, so he got the short end of the straw there. Adrian, you're driving. Or I mean, I'm sure I can just find a fucking viewer somewhere in Europe that would be willing to drive the RV honestly because if I'm streaming every day I don't want to fucking drive as well because that's gonna be really fucking annoying to stream then go and drive then stream then drive like that's fucking awful and plus I'm not good at driving stick I'm so bad at it I'll stall and crash the RV 100% not crash it but I'll definitely stall it and you know what I mean like it'll be rough so you know I, I barely know how to drive stick so I don't know about that Just chilling, Broly. What's up? Gary says he gets car sick. He'll drive. Well, perfect. Then I'll just make sure I make everyone car sick then so he drives. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, if you live in Europe, 
and uh, you were you would be willing to drive, maybe I could take uh, just a viewer along for the ride and they can get a bed if they drive the entire time. Like they are basically the designated driver. Because, you know, for anybody in the in the RV, you know, if we're streaming, you don't want to stream and drive all like every day. That's going to be fucking AIDS and annoying. So and for some reason, driving makes you or makes me at least really exhausted when you just drive for like six hours straight. You just get tired and like burned out. So I don't want that. Would you pay the said viewer? I mean, no, but you get a free ride around Europe. So you can eat whatever's in the fridge. You drive, eat whatever the fuck you want in the fridge. You know what I mean? Or whatever. So, yeah. Does it come with free food? Hey, if you drive, get all the food in the world. What's up? Make sure all of Gary streams are car streams. Yeah, Gary, every time Gary goes live, he'll be he'll just be driving. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That'd be fucked up, man. Thank you, Wrapped Up. I appreciate that, homie. Wonder who's going to take the content crown this trip. I mean, we'll see, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty good at streaming, so I think I might just take that, Jay Anthony. But you never know. Maybe uh, we have an underdog here somewhere. To be honest, I think Tracksuit will provide some good content on his stream. Like, he always fucking does. He's very uh, dedicated. He streams long fucking hours. CX in the chat. And I'll probably put everyone on my website that's coming on the trip, too. Just, you know, for the just for the trip. Just so, you know everyone's in like one place and easy to find so you know it'll be very uh very similar to what we've done before <laughs> as we get closer to the date though i've been getting more worried about something so i rented this rv but i've never seen it in person and you know i have a viewer helping me out who speaks the language of the country that I am renting the RV from. So he's trans he's been translating for me with the owner. Cause obviously I can't see the fucking thing. Cause I don't live there. And he said he l saw it or he said he looked at it or I think or something. I don't know. But I, my worry is I go there and it's like either just not good or there is not like maybe this viewer is trolling me and there is no fucking RV. And I, that would be fucking dis That'd be awful. <laughs> But, you know, I'm, I've seen paperwork, so I don't think it, it's, I don't think the trolls that elaborate to be fucking honest with you, but that's the only, that's the only thing I'm worried about is we get there and it's literally not what I rented. And cause I've, that happened the last, the last RV trip, the RV two trip, I rented an RV, me and Sam went there to go pick it up and they tried to give us something that is not what we rented. You know what I mean? It was like a, like a smaller version of what we actually rented. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's not what we rented, dude. That's what the fuck is this? And that was a, that was a hassle that we had to find a new one. That was really hard. So that's my only worry. But, you know, I, the, the guy, the owner of this, uh, of the, of the company who's renting it out to me seems very, you know, nice. And I, I don't think he is going to try and scam me or any bullshit. So yeah, I got pics, I got paperwork, I got all that Polaris, but you know, until I see something in person, I just, you, you never know, right? So I just hope when I get there, it's just exactly what I rented, exactly is just there and we're ready to go. And there's not gonna have to be like a, fuck, let me find a new one type thing. I don't think you can go to the Ukraine, there's a war right now. I think there's only a war on the east side. We're only gonna stay on the west side of Ukraine, you know, the European side. So I, I, I'm not that worried about it, homie. And I know Chernobyl is in the west side, so I, I'm pretty sure we can go there. I, I I have no concern with that. But we'll see. I don't know. Let them know your concerns. I mean, I already let them know my concerns. It's fine. But like I said, the, it's like we're like translating with a viewer. You know what I mean? Because I don't speak the guy's language. So it's like it's all translations. And then he sent me like the paperwork on my email. And I translated it with Google. And, you know, it was... I just hope nothing is lost in translation by the time I get there. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So have you tried CBD flower? It looks exactly like weed. I have tried CBD flower dead scene. It's shit though. It doesn't get you high. It doesn't do anything. So what's the point now? Radiation is not a big deal anymore. Reapers. They, they they've Chernobyl's not as radiated as it once was. So I'm, I mean, it's fine. If I get cancer, like whatever, it's, I won't have to deal with the cancer for another 40 years. So it's not really a big deal, I guess. 
Are you still going to do Reddit integration on the RV? Yeah. So when I fly over to Europe, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to buy like a cheap little monitor. I'm going to try and plug the monitor into an outlet in the RV. And then, you know, with like a auto clicker, I'm going to try and, you know, just re the auto clicker will refresh the new on Reddit constantly. So, you know, we can see what's going on. You know, but it's going to be just like a, a little cheap screen that I can just like throw away afterward. Thank you, Patterson. I appreciate that, homie. Where in the EU are you going? Just, uh, everywhere. I mean, like I said, I don't really know until we get there, but we have the itinerary going east side, that. north to Sweden, uh, you know, motherfucking west side, south, just all over the place. Just, you know, it's, we got three weeks. We can go everywhere in three weeks, right? Or at least most of the places in three weeks, something like that. What's up, Tingley? How you doing? Where in the EU are you going? What year was the RV made? Oh, man, what year was it made? I don't know. It's pretty new. It's a pretty new RV. Um, I would show you a photo of it, but I just don't want to because I don't want people I don't want people to find it. But yeah, I think it was I think it's like a 2015 or something. I don't know. It's the seven bed 2015 RV, something like that. It's pretty new. Like it's not scuffed. Like it's extremely like like they have like uh, nice seats. They have, you know, nice tables, nice beds. You know, it's not disgusting, so. And we got a pretty good deal on it. No, this one has a generator. I made sure it had a generator because I told the dude specifically that we're going to be live streaming and I need to have as much power, like generator and battery power as possible. So it, it it's very nice. It has all that shit. Um, and then, you know, obviously every couple of days we're going to have to let the generator charge. So I'll have to turn off the generator and let the gas charge the generator and I'll have to use the external batteries that I bring with me. So let me see. These RV streams are awful. I'm tired of it trying to live up to RV one and two. Well, my intention is not to make this trip live up to anything. My intention is to make this trip just, you know, a good time and good content for the viewers. Um, that, that's all I want. I don't really want to live up to anything. You know what I mean? I just want it to be good because I'm going to be real with you. Will this trip live up to RV one and two? Probably not because RV one and two had some crazy drama and drama is of course good content, but that's not what we're going for this time. So instead of the drama, I guess think of the first RV trips, but without the drama, it's going to be, you know, we're all going to be traveling. We're all going to be hanging out, having a good time. I guess the first one didn't really have that much drama. Just imagine the first RV trip without EBZ. Because when he left, there was no drama. So I suppose it'll be something like that. You know, everyone will just be having a good time and I think it'll be fun. Seems like you're taking plays from Sam's book. What plays are you talking about? Outlets might be different and might need adapters. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring adapters. That's not even a good, that, like, don't worry. That's, I've already thought about all this shit. Trust me. I've, I've been thinking about this shit for weeks, dude, for a while. You know what I mean? Like, I want to make sure that, okay, we spent the money on this thing. I want it to fucking work out. I don't want this shit to break down, have issues, fucking, fucking anything. Like, you know what I mean? I've been overthinking the fuck out of multiple different scenarios that are going on here. Multiple cams around the RV. Uh, I mean, I'm going to bring multiple cameras. I don't know if we have the bit rate to do multiple angles in certain places. Like I can put multiple angles in it for the, you know, for the 24 hour cam. But I just don't know if I don't know if the bit rate in some places are going to be good enough to show multiple cameras, you know, because you need a lot of bit rate for more cameras that you have. Um, and I, I know that some of the places in Europe have bad Internet, so. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have multiple angles. I just hope that the internet can be good enough for it. You talk all this talk, but I doubt you're going to do it all. Well, what are you doubting, Boost? Tell me what you doubt, and I will try to answer why it's going to happen. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I already have everything set up. I already have everything ready to go and bought and fucking done and scheduled, so... Imagine trying to travel in the RV. Bone clinks found. Feel bad for Bjorn and Blade. Um, yeah, RVs are very, you know, ridiculous beasts. You know, you got to get something good. If you want to travel thousands of miles across the country, it needs to be an expensive RV. 
otherwise there's going to be problems. Like, there's a reason why people sell their fucking RVs, right? You know what I mean? Thank you, Phil. Yes, Minaj. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the member, dude. Because you're always scuffed. I mean, yeah, but I'm going to prove on this trip that I thought out plenty of shit and it's not going to be scuffed. I'm going to prove it to you. All right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being scuffed, but, you know, to an extent, it, it can't hinder the streams. You know, they can't be that scuffed where the streams are hindered. So I'm going to prove that we did it. CX. And it's not going to hinder anything. But um, what am I going to What was I going to say? Fucking uh, I don't have a Jacob either. So it's been me, the guys who are doing the developing for the website. And my moderator, Joey, he's been helping me out too with some stuff. So, I mean, if this, if we can make this work out without, uh, without an assistant, then hey, I'll be proud of myself for that one. I don't know where you heard that news from, Blake. Did you fire Phineas? I, no, I mean, I, I just, I haven't talked to him. I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't use the word fired because it wasn't like, oh, you're fired. It was just like, I just haven't talked to him in a, a while. So, you know what I mean? I hate you've become this utter BS. Well, what are you saying? What have you, what do you hate that I've become mem? And I will try to explain myself, I suppose. Do you hate that I've become more responsible or do you hate that I've decided that I don't want to have tons and tons of drama uh, yeah don't worry Daniel I'm going to have people moderating it it's fine you basically turned into Keenon Keenon bro no come on bro look at me I'm wearing a fucking Playstation shirt with some adidas shorts i'm definitely not keen on he is you know i don't know he cares a little bit too much about how he looks and stuff i like you as paul i hate that you're not ice well mem i guess i understand i think i understand what you're coming from i am of course gonna be ice on whatever sh on this trip or whatever stream that we do right so um i'm not gonna be like chill and relaxed when we're going fucking around Europe. I'm going to be too excited for that. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> but if, you know, of course I have, uh, you know, I, I act differently in different scenarios. Like uh, right now we're chilling, so it's different, but this is not the vibe that we're going to be putting out in the trip. The only vibe that we're going to, that I don't want the trip is the, the drama. Like I said, everything else will be completely normal. Who am I watching, Ice or Paul? Well, I guess that's for you to decide. What do you think? I mean, right now, I would say that you're watching uh, more of Paul than Ice because I am just being pretty, I don't know, relaxed right now. You know what I mean? Pretty, pretty real, pretty relaxed. Ice is a troll, and I love trolling, but there's nothing, to, there's no reason to troll right now. You know what I mean? But when we do a stream, you know, with, with everyone and we travel and stuff, then yeah, of course, you know, I troll. That's what makes it funny. Multiple personalities? I mean, bro, just call me Johnny Depp. Don't call me Johnny Depp, I'm just kidding, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I don't know, dude. Everyone needs to shut up. scene said drama in CX voice channel. Oh, drama in CX voice channel. When is there not drama in our fucking Discord, dude? Let's be real. <clears throat> trigger i mean i probably would though to be honest when are you going to call another streamer and have discussions like you did with chad um i mean they those just happen whenever you know what i mean uh, there's no streamer to call right now to have those discussions but you know anyone or anytime anyone wants to talk i'm here to talk whatever happened to the tongue thing i don't know what you're talking about dude to be honest i have no fucking clue who do you think we fell in love with each other on the trip my best are on Grimoire and Adrian Chen. I, you know, it's always the underdogs that come out on top. I think Adrian, people might say, oh, why the fuck's Adrian coming? But I think, I think Adrian will be one of the more loved people, to be honest. It's always the underdogs, you know what I mean? I think last time, 
we did a trip like this it was uh I don't know who was the underdog on one of the, on last time on, on the trip. I think it was Dan Quan, right? Like nobody would have expected Dan Quan to be loved like the way he was, but you know people loved him, so it's always the underdogs because they have no, there's no expectations, and then they do something that exceeds everyone's expectations, and then everyone's just like, oh fuck, that's cool. Thank you, Mick Ronald. I appreciate the sponsor, dude, or the member, dude. Thank you so much, homie. Why is he not joining the trip? Because he does not have a passport and he could not get one. Neb actually confirmed gay proof, bro. I mean, Neb is a six foot eight motherfucker. I mean, is he gay? I would, I would, I don't, listen, I've done some, I've had some gay conversations with Neb. All right. I've actually asked Neb for a threesome as well. As I'm sure you guys have seen, I've asked everybody for threesomes. And he said no, because there would be a girl involved. So is he gay? I don't know, but I don't want to fuck Neb because he's he's like a, he's almost seven feet tall. Like realistically, Neb is. Nebington said, he's "Paul, huge. don't drag me into your lies." Bruh, Neb is literally almost seven feet tall. He's, his dick would destroy my anus, dude. I would not fuck him. Thank you, Vanished by Thanos. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dude. Is Ice coming to the trip, bro? Ice always go on the trips. What do you mean? Here I am, bro. Let's go. Let's go on this fucking trip. Let's troll. Let's have a good time. X in the chat are you gay straight or bisexual i mean you know i like the troll but i'm straight you know i'm not gay i'm not bi i do i have some bisexual tendencies no i don't but some people might say that i do you know what i mean like nebbington said id break your spine through your anus and leave you in a wheelchair so we can match um i mean maybe but i mean neb you're just mad because i exposed it but um no, I'm just kidding. I've never said that. But uh, yeah, I mean, listen, I'm straight, but I have some bi tendencies, okay? Like, I've touched dick, you know, fucking whatever. Me and Bolts have done some shit. Like, I don't know. It's just fun, though. It's like a joke. It's not, it's just like silly shit, you know? It's like a, you know, you, you just troll. It's like, it's just a big troll. It's all it is. I know it's not, you can't really troll, like, with the gay shit, but I do. And I don't know. But I'm not as sexually attracted as any men. I'll put it that way. I'm not sexually attracted to men. But I do like to fuck around because it's funny. The intention is it's funny, not I'm attracted to them. So, I don't know. You can get a passport in a week. How's this off in EBZ? I, beats me, Bearwall. I have no idea. I told this to EBZ. I just don't think he's putting in the effort to get his passport, to be honest. I mean, or maybe, I mean, he's not a, you know, he wasn't born here. He was born in Africa. So maybe when you're born, outside the country and then you move here with citizenship maybe it's different i don't really know but you know i tried to get him to to put in the effort to get the passport he said he couldn't so i don't know how's he come to africa without a passport so ebz said he had citizenship but not a passport so or like a green card or something i don't really know but i guess when you have a green card you can come to the u.s but you can't go anywhere else i don't really know because i'm not you know an immigrant from another country but I, something like that it, or, or i guess i don't know thank you nick white i appreciate the member dude thank you homie gary needs gay pressing bro you already know reach out to slaker to join your rv trip he is the biggest affiliate on twitch and a very funny guy do not let gary the daddy producer cuck any content on the trip great to see you in tracksuit i don't think he would cuck any content but uh i don't know slicker's not gonna go on the trip let's be real dude well, for the main reason is I don't think he likes me, <laughs> to be honest. CX in the chat. Uh, and second of all, you know, he's has his, he has his own thing on Twitch. Why would he want to come on my trip? African warlords are allowed to leave their country of origin, but it's complicated to go back. Well, then I, I guess DBL answered it right there. Slicker's still not partnered. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even like me anyway, so it doesn't matter. But we'll see, I guess. Uh, let me see. He's going to motherfucking Reddit here. What the fuck is this? Wait, hold on. I've actually not looked at Reddit in a couple days. What the fuck is this? Because I was busy in Kansas. Oh, this is just some stupid shit. Okay, let's see. Just some trash. It's not trash. Not trash. I mean, you should watch this video. It doesn't matter. It's all old news. Tony is starting a campaign to free ice, bro. What is this? Hi, 
My, my name's Tony Winchester, and uh, uh, I, I'm MRS Glory and Gold on, on Twitch. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm old, and I'm all tore up, and my back hurts all the time, and my arms hurt all the time, and my hands hurt all the time, and I, I got arthritis from even using a mouse. And uh, I just, I just been sitting here thinking, if I could just have anything in the whole world for my birthday, which is September 29th of this month. I still can't believe it's the same birthday as me. I mean, God, if I could just have anything in the whole world for my 66th birthday, it would be to watch Ice Poseidon on Twitch live on September 29th. 2019. Hell yeah! Free ice! Free ice! Free ice! Yahoo! Bro, Tony's my dog. Tony's my fucking homie, dude. What the fuck, homie? That's insane. Dude, I love him, bro. It was it was so dis it was so weird though in the chat when I went to visit Tony. I don't think most people in the chat knew who Tony was because I saw some comments like, why, like, who is this guy? Why are you hanging out with these old people? Who the fuck's the guy in the wheelchair? Like, that's what I see in, in the chat when I was there. And I'm like, I'm like, damn, how, like these people don't know motherfucking Tony. I don't understand. So, I mean, I, so to them, they don't understand why I went. They're just like, why the fuck did you go to this fucking dead convention? But like, that's not like, no motherfucker. I, I didn't go for the convention. I went to see Tony. You know what I mean? That's that's why we drove 12 and a half or 10 and a half hours to fucking Kansas to see Tony. So, you know what I mean? He sh he's like a big part of the sh of uh, my community for one. And he's been, uh, you know, he's been around for years and you know, he's a good meme, so. And he's also a good dude, so, you know, of course, I would just hope they're trolling. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Salmon Andy action figure. What the fuck is this? Bro, what the fuck is this? Did this guy make a fucking action figure? Suggestions on working on more soon. There's enough interest on one. Let me know. I could auction at one time. At one time, I could offer short run. Dude, this guy is making action figures. What the? F How did he make that? Dude, I could, I could use that. That would be funny as fuck. I could use some action figures. That would be dope. I mean, it's it's very similar to the guy who made the dolls, the stuffed dolls of us. But these are like collectible items. You got the knife. You got the fucking, I don't even know what that is, like a fucking Coke or something. You got water. You got bat. This is dope, dude. You, I, you, I would pay for that. I would buy that from you. So little statues, bro. I, let, me, let, me, let me comment on this. I would actually pay for that. Make more. I, I will buy. Although there's no MacBook Pro, indeed. So he's missing the MacBook Pro, but that is some funny ass shit, bro. I love that. Well, only way this community will accept Dumb and Dumber is if they take shrooms on the first day in Amsterdam. Okay. First of all, I think most people like Gary. I don't know about Adrian because he hasn't been on stream that much, but I think most people like Gary. Um, I wouldn't call them Dumb and Dumber, but. What was I going to say? Fucking, um, I, th <laughs> the height difference, dude. I think, uh, I mean, we could do shrooms in Amsterdam. It is legal. Shrooms, ecstasy, all these things are legal in Amsterdam. And to be honest, I might take some ecstasy in Amsterdam because I really like ecstasy. Um, and I haven't taken it in probably over six months now, so it's, you know, it's about that time that I could take it again without fucking up my dopamine. So I'm down for that. But the shrooms, I I would never trip on stream. I would never. I, I cannot. <laughs> if I trip on stream, I'm going to have a bad trip. It's going to fucking ruin my. It's going to make me like cause. It's going to cause like a fucking problem somewhere. I don't know. Psychedelics are not something you do on stream. It's something you do in private. Like it's a it's like a fucking, you know, it's like therapy, you know what I mean? You don't do that on stream because it's gonna fuck your shit up. If they want to do shrooms, more than they can do it. I mean, maybe I like I'll microdose sh like shrooms, but I'm not gonna trip balls, you know what I mean? So, at most, you'll see me mi microdosing shrooms in ex or in uh, in Amsterdam, and maybe I'll take a little bit of ecstasy, like a tiny dose of it, 
because obviously I don't really want to do that stuff on stream because it's fucking going to make me have a bad time <laughs> probably, but maybe if I microdose, it wouldn't be too bad. But I've, you know, I, I've taken, uh, I think I've taken shrooms on stream one time and it was an accident. It was, uh, I was doing shrooms at one of my houses in LA and EBZ actually came in and he was streaming and I didn't know he was streaming. We were all fucking high on shrooms and, and yeah, I'm just like, dude, can you turn your fucking stream off? Like, <laughs> like this is not like, we're all fucking shrooms right now, dude. Like, come on. And then he took some shrooms and then, you know, he fucking left. I, he didn't leave. He didn't turn his stream off. He just left. So, you know, I don't know. That was funny. Stay beside good energy if you're on shrooms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't think I would, I would never trip balls on stream because if I did, I would, somebody would just donate something that would make me have a bad trip or something like, Oh, I used to, I'm coming to get you. And I'd be like, Oh fuck. Who is this? Turn my fucking members only off. Um, I mean, I could turn members only off. I just, I'd put it on because I feel like I have to give back to the members somehow. And you know, we're just sitting here talking or whatever. So, but, uh, okay, let's see, let's turn it off. I'll turn it off for a little bit. I'll, I'm going to turn it back on, though. But I'll turn it off for a little bit. Just so people can, you know, talk in the chat. Bring gaming back. When are you playing WoW again? Well, I've been in Kansas and traveling stuff, so that's why I haven't played WoW in the past couple days. But um, there is a new game that came out. A couple new games that came out. There was uh, this game where you're like a monkey and you have to, like, go around and fucking i forgot what it's called it's like uh where the, you're like a caveman monkey and you like go around and try to find like supplies and what the fuck's it called and it's like something odyssey i don't know i think that i, I might play that game i think that'd be kind of funny to play um and then there's this other game it's kind of like uh ancestors yeah i might play ancestors uh and then there's this other game that base Ghost suggested it was uh very similar to Detroit was the game that we played, the Detroit game where you were like a fucking robot or whatever. So I might play that one too before we, uh, you know, go to motherfucking ass Europe. Because that just gives, that, that makes, you know, easy to do long streams. You know, I do, I just played through the whole fucking game of, of whatever that is. So it's like a, a, a game very similar to the robot game where you make, you know, choices and stuff. Kiara just met up with her mod. Oh, man. Every time I see these posts, Blair Witch. Oh, Blair Witch is a new game. I don't know if I would like that, though. It seems too survival-y. Every time I see these posts, dude, talking about just met up with their, with, with their mods, they're always, like, they're always fucking, like, come on. Listen, I'm not here to fucking roast anybody, but, bro, this photo is ridiculous there's fucking he gave her fucking roses and he's uh, flowers and shit at like the airport with her fucking bag and he's like dressed very nicely it's just i mean it's just it's it, they always look scuffed right the, the, all, all these photos always look scuffed talking about when they made up with their mod all right it's always like some fucking weirdo so and then she's like what the fuck is this shit and then he's like oh, this is my my goal my fucking life goal and shit so it's, the dynamic here is like fucking awkward. I can just see it through the screen. And <laughs> I don't know, man. When I meet up with my mods, they're never like this. I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just what I think. But when I meet up with my mods, they're always pretty cool. Like Stevie G's a moderator of mine. Stevie G's pretty cool, right? It's not like weird. There's no like d awkward dynamic or anything. It, but then again, I'm not a girl. So I, I need to see a clip of this. I don't know. Somebody says there's a clip. Where the fuck's there a clip? I need a fucking clip. Oh, not her mod. Is this fake news? What is this? Alrighty. Well, either way, but yeah, I don't know, dude. Fucking these these. Either way, this is funny as fuck. This is a ridiculous photo. Stevie G's a Chad compared to him, <laughs> bro. All right, you don't need to tweet anything to Chris Hansen. Don't worry about it. He's just doing. He's just trying to do his YouTube content. It's all good, bro. Day. What? What the fuck is? Okay. Don't start this again. Don't start all this nonsense again. You know what? 
you know what start this september is a good month for you to start this because we're going to be streaming for three weeks on this trip but don't do don't do october all right just do september just, just muff, hey, hey 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 you could well actually did we well we didn't stream yesterday indeed actually so never mind i was gonna say hey today's monday but no we actually didn't stream yesterday that's true motherfucking ass but we were driving so yeah come on you don't want to watch fucking 12 hours of us driving 10 hours of us driving whatever but or maybe you do i don't fucking know but yeah leave for september you're gonna see straight let me see all the way so here the third to the sixth you know iffy you know a lot of desktop probably but september or september 7th all the way to september fucking 20 something bruh rv stream 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 all, all the time the whole week the whole the whole three weeks bro what's up why is this dude going <laughs> bro we all got beards now hey listen oh man actually stream 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 and then and, and then never mind stream 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 never mind i'm just, I'm just kidding but um listen I, don't, I mean, we have a free we have a free bed. We've got an open bed. If you don't think Adrian Chen is good content, then I don't know where the fuck you've been. He sits in the back. He writes his book. He writes fucking notes, bro. When that book comes out, I'm gonna say I'm gonna read the book. I'm gonna be the guy who, you know, with the, with the fucking audio tapes, where you can let the the fucking person read the book for you. It's gonna be my voice. I'm gonna read his whole book, and then you can listen to my voice in the book. Netflix Andy 2.0. I'm 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 naming it right now. Adrian Chen is going to be the underdog. Adrian Chen is going to be the guy on this trip that people like the most, are surprised by, and probably has the most content. 100%. I promise you. I mean, that's how it always works. The underdog always comes out on top because they have because people have no expectations for this person, and then they do something, and then people love what they do because they, there was no expectations so you just watch and see. I think Adrian Chen is literally going to be that person. I think he's the underdog. I think he's going to come out on top. But he's only coming for a week, so he doesn't have much time. What is this? Add ice. Biggest relationship advice I can give is to remember that you really love someone. You're not just living for yourself anymore, but for both of you. Everything you do affects that person. Always think about your partner before you make any decision. Respect how they feel. I agree. Why is this at me for? What the, what the fuck did I do that that hurt Kimberly's feelings? Bruh, listen. Okay, listen. That th Thank you. I will, yes, I will buy plenty of Bitcoin and motherfucking go broke. Thank you so much, homie. Hi, you don't even love Kimberly that much? Well, Listen, I love Kimberly, but, you know, obviously I'm marriage or anything like that is not even in my mind because, it, I mean, we've been dating for 11 months. Actually, our one year anniversary of dating is October 22nd. So we have a month left until our one year anniversary for dating. So that's pretty nutty. The, she's going to be the longest person I've dated in my whole life. Honestly, I think uh, Caroline was my longest dated, the person I dated the longest. And that was like a really rocky relationship. Like that was like, you know, you, you know, that was, th there's some rocky shit going on there. So, you know, this will be a year of like a healthy relationship. So that's pretty good. Like that's, that's, that was, that's hard. <laughs> that was hard, bro. I mean, maybe for people in the chat, it's not very hard, but for me, that was fucking hard. I don't know. Because um, obviously, you know, I, I'm just not, I've never been in a real good relationship before. So it's, it was just, you know, I had a lot of things to overcome in my personal life to, you know, make it work out is what I'm saying. You still playing WoW? Yeah, I haven't been on in the past two or three days, but because uh, I've been, you know, going, went to Kansas City, but yeah, I'm still playing it. Congrats on having a girlfriend. Bro, it's nice. It's nice to be able to have somebody that is, like, there for you. And, you know, I'm there for her, too. But, you know, like I said, there were some things I had to overcome to continue that. Um, what is this? Fucking just do a, a cook-off, all right? I mean, we can always do a cook-off, bro. Do this challenge. What is this challenge, though? Italian mamas versus amateur cooks. Okay, so do a challenge where I have a competition against professional cooks versus myself 
That sounds like a good idea, but let's be real. I can't even cook versus EBZ. So, you know what I mean? If I go against fucking professional cooks, I'm going to fucking get fucked up. I'm going to lose. Bro, all right, you know what? I'll keep this in the back of my mind. When we go to when we go to Italy, I'm gonna try and get myself a nice Italian chef, do a competition with him, and see. I mean, obviously they're gonna be better than me, but maybe they can teach me or something. I don't know. Yeah, Voldestad is still in Texas. He's upstairs. Scan my donation. Let me see. What did you say here? One second. Um, yeah, those photos are awkward. Glad to see you're back in your seat. Motherfucking calendar is booked up in Europe. Okay, thank you so much, Michael. Is that the donation? Hello, brother. Okay. Invite Jebram to EU, bro. <laughs> bro, it would just be political talks the whole time. Hello, brother. Yeah, play hard before you're No, Alliance is much better, obviously, but what is this? Getting rid of Pelic is worth it. Now regular people want to subscribe and see a wholesome content. What is this? Amazing, dude. 200 plus subs. Let's go. <laughs> 200 subscribers. Let's do it. What is this? Come to Denmark. All right. Fucking Bjorn's wife, everybody. In the motherfucking YouTube chat. Not texting each other. YouTube chat, baby. Let's go. Clickbait UFC. I don't think you can. You can't clickbait UFC. UFC X, I can't clickbait UFC X3 because this is not going to be on YouTube. They're doing this at the Stable Center. I mean, maybe this will be streamed on YouTube. But unless it's, if it's not streamed on YouTube, you can't clickbait it. Um, so we'll see. I found expand on Twitch. Ice should invite him to the RV trip. Well... If Iphonix wants to go to the RV trip, you know, he's obviously more than welcome to, but I think he's dealing with his own issues right now with Twitch and, you know, hoping he's not permanently banned and all of this stuff, you know, but he's, you know, he's more than welcome to come, but I just think he, I don't think that's his mindset right now. I think he's trying to hope that he's not permanently banned. Well, I mean, we might come to Greece in fucking this month so we'll see bro although Greece is pretty out of the way but you know we'll see alrighty there we go dude Bjorn I, listen this is a conspiracy This is I'm putting my tinfoil hat on I don't think Bjorn's married I think he has a roommate who's a, who's a, who's a woman and maybe he got her a green card but I don't think he's married There's you don't do this you don't do this kind of stuff on stream when you have a wife at home so tinfoil hat on i don't think that his wife either cares or i don't think he's married one of the two things but you know i don't know dude <laughs> let me see what is this okay it's praising two more degenerate versions of andy milanakis what the fuck is this I don't understand. It's just a photo of Andy. All right. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Let me see. Who let this crackhead on stage? Bro, what can I say? Actually, I do look like a crackhead in this photo. I don't know why the fuck, dude. I don't know. I need to shave this. I always think I look so good with a beard, but then I just like, I look so fucking bad every time, dude. Like, I just, I'm so, like, I, I don't know why I look so fucking bad in this photo. Like, my hair's all fucked up. My beard looks disgusting. I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't really say crackhead. I would say homeless. I look homeless. Yeah, I should shape my beard up. But either way, I still look fucking homeless. So, and then yeah, fucking Jebrum, dude. He was a funny. He was a funny motherfucker, dude. I used vape inside the building, bro. When he snitched on me with the vape, I was like, like it's a fucking jewel, dude. It just it evaporates in the air. It's fine, dude. Like, why did you why did you tell the police that I vaped inside? And then here's. I knew sitting in the trash can would get somewhere, dude. I knew there'd be some good memes from that. Motherfucking getting over it, dude. That's a good one. Hey, it's so funny how things change, isn't that? Blades on top, baby. What do you know? It's funny. It's funny how the world works. You vaping inside, bro. What is this? Live on the animal planet. What the fuck is this? Why? What is this? 
Only lost me legs once. I don't get it. Is it like a fucking animal that has no legs or something? I used to use shoot guns. What did you see in the mirror when you see me in my demon form? What the fuck does that mean? Gene. Gene Philip. What the fuck does that mean? I, I've, I mean, I see myself in the mirror. What do you mean? What the fuck is that? What, I mean, I don't know. But thank you so much for the donation. I, I, I don't know if you have skits or, or what's up, but what's, how you doing? What is this? Is this me? I used to shoot guns. I think this is me, right? Is it? I know. I don't know. Is that me? I can't tell. No, it's not me. I don't know, dude. I can't even tell. It's Zozo, bro. I haven't seen Zozo in so long, homie. How's Peter Ice? Do you know? I don't. What do you mean, Peter? My dick? What are you, who, who are you talking about? Who the fuck is Peter? Did you follow out with Carlos Switchboy? I mean, I just haven't talked to him since I moved, obviously. So or Pepper. Uh, Pepper's good. Yeah, Bearwall in the chat. If you at Bearwall in the chat, he has Pepper. Pepper's doing really good. He's uh, Bearwall does a good, takes does a good job at taking care of Pepper. So he's a good homeowner for uh, for for the animals. So that's good. Uh, he's a friend of mine. I used to take him a daffodil. I haven't taken a daffodil since I moved out of LA. Um, you know, obviously I can't get a prescription for it in Texas. So, you know, LA is a lot more, you know, willing to give out prescriptions to people. So I haven't taken it since then, which kind of sucks because I feel like the modafinil is really helpful. Um, to be honest, it, it helped me feel more like myself, I guess. I don't fucking know. It, it just, it helped me stay, concentrated and focused on what I wanted to do instead of just, you know, feeling too lazy to do anything. Let me see. What is this? Let's see. <laughs> I remember uh, back in July, so I fucking asked her, jokingly for a threesome in discord i said that publicly that's why i say jokingly and you should know it's a joke because i publicly said it in my cx chat hey do you want a threesome because i saw she was in there um and she said yeah i'm just i thought it was funny <laughs> oh man dude fucking this chick dude she's funny dude, all the girls in my discord i literally have well not really okay so there was this one day back in july me stevie and shy we were fucking joking and we were trolling and we were like are there any, are there any girls in discord who want to have a threesome and motherfucking she was one of the ones that was like yeah let's do it silk dude yeah right Dude, Rune West was good. I really loved seeing Tony, dude. He, it was fucking nice. This this was really nice. I really liked going there. I'm glad we went. It was, you know, we had to rent a car and drive fucking a bunch of hours, and it was great. But this was really, really nice. Like, I felt really good that I went. It was nice to see Tony. How do I join your guild? Well, you have to uh, get invited by either one of my officers or by me. So I guess when you see me online on WoW, just uh, message me or whatever. Dude... <laughs> I don't really want to get into into Minecraft Monday, dude, to be honest. I did Friday Fortnite with Mitch Jones a while ago, and the only highlight from that was killing rice gum. Everything else was, eh. I mean, I'm not good at, at Fortnite or Minecraft, so what's the point? Anyone else fan of CX random Twitch channels? There's always a bunch of people who say it back. We're still very relevant. Once Ice gets unbanned on Twitch, CX will blow up mainstream. Just make sure to put your name before it gets taken. Thank you, dude. Um, this guy's not a troll, by the way. This guy, he DMs me on Twitter. He's totally legit. So I know some of my mods are like, he's trolling, but he's not. He's he's legit as fuck, dude. Okay, this is stupid old news. If you want, if you want this to be, if you want information on that, just scroll back up to this video and all your answers will be, you know, all your questions will be answered there. This many people think I should do an interview with Chris Hansen. <laughs> okay. Um, so. I would. I would talk to Chris Hansen on like a fucking interview level sort of thing or like a, how you doing? Like I would do a stream with him, but I'm not going on his fucking 
on his channel. Like, I'm not going on his fucking channel. I'm not going on a fucking channel that's called Hanson versus Predator, <laughs> okay? Because that, like, first of all, no, I'm not a fucking Predator. I'm not going on a thing called Hanson versus Predator. If it was called The Chris Hansen Show, I'd go on it. But since it's not called The Chris Hansen Show, it's Hansen versus Predator, I'm not going on his fucking YouTube channel. If he wants to come on mine and we and wants to talk or, about things or whatever, that's fine. But he either needs to change his fucking YouTube channel name or what. But, but I'm not going on a thing called Hansen versus Predator. Um, I will talk to Chris Hansen, though, but I'm not being classified as that motherfucking ass Predator. scared dude i mean it's not scared i mean it's a good meme it's a good you know what it's a good meme i agree with you but it's not a meme when people aren't in on the joke so i don't want people to like come in and be like oh wait you're on chris hansen and it's called hansen versus predator that means you're a predator like nah if they're not in on the joke is at that point it's not even a good meme like to us it's a meme but to real like everyone else outsiders they're gonna be like whoa what the fuck's going on? So, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm streaming the budget rune fest now to try and get some viewers, but it isn't working. <laughs> I mean, I just went to go see Tony, of course. You're such an innovative streamer. I love the 720 stream P streams that you make. You've such good camera for someone who gets paid to use a camera as their job. Keep it up, buddy. Hopefully for Christmas, Kimberly will buy you a camera. Well, I do have a camera. I just didn't use it because having a phone is much more convenient. But thank you so much. Let's see. Okay, thank you so much. How much ice worth in your opinion? How much will it be worth two years from now? Hmm. Well, hopefully two years from now, the answer is not homeless. So as long as the as long as the answer two years from now is not the is not homeless, then I think I'll take that as a win in my book. I'll take that as a W. If two years from now the answer is homeless, then well, then that's a huge L for me. But you know, hopefully that's not the case. Yeah, I already look homeless now, so we're not on a good path. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's my, dude. I'm gonna be 25 on september 29th i'm getting old bro 25 that's ridiculous i can't believe it dude your captain posted zero upvotes when are you gonna admit you made a mistake i mean it doesn't matter how many posts an upvote has or how many upvotes a post has you know we're still looking at it people still caring about being at 2k when you can come when you make a living off 300 viewers i mean you you can make a living off no viewers if you do your if you play your cards right I see people on Twitch who are affiliates that are just like really popular in like a certain streamer's chat and they have subs. They have like 100 subs, 200 subs, and they make, you know, some money doing absolutely nothing. So play your card right. You can make money with zero viewers. I remember when Ice was 22, bro. I know. I'm getting uh, 25 years old, dude. I know I look older than 25, but that's ridiculous, man. I feel like. 25 when i on the 29th when i when i turn 25 i feel like i'm gonna have something change or click in my head that's just like you're fucking old okay because you know what i mean i'm not in early 20 anymore you know i'm mid 20s i'm like i don't know it's just a weird thing to me because i feel like i could remember it's almost like it feels like it was yesterday that i was 21 you know 22 it's so weird because all my birthdays I've had on on stream, so it's so it just it feels like it goes by so quick. You're almost Sam's age, dude. Oh, tell me about it, bro. I'm getting old as fuck. When I, I'm, <clears throat> dude, I'm your age. When you were a bodybuilder, so how do you think we feel? I don't know how many. How old are you guys in the chat? Some people say 25 is not old. I mean, 25 is not old, but especially with you know technology and stuff, I think we'll be able to. By the time I'm 80, I think we'll be able to. I, don't know, I think humans will be able to live a lot longer in, you know, the later 2000s because obviously, you know, medical <laughs> treatment and stuff. So, you know, 25 is like the new 20 because now instead of dying at 75, we'll probably die at 100. But either way, I don't know. 45. Wow. That's motherfucking 38, dude. Holy shit. All right. A lot of 18 year olds fucking oh, 12. All right. Five. Wow, dude, you can't be here. No, most people are. 
or in the twenties, it looks like, which is nice. Would any be, would anyone be interested in a GoFundMe for ice? You take so many days off, you may not be able to pay rent and eat. We can do a monthly one for a thousand. Hey, hey, if you want to start a GoFundMe, hey, I'm down for that, bro. How you doing? No, I'm just kidding. I don't need a GoFundMe, dog. Obviously, I'm going to be able to pay my fucking rent, eat food and stuff. If there ever came to a point where I couldn't pay my rent and eat fucking food. Well, I don't know what to say either. I, I, I don't think streaming would be working out anymore at that point, to be fair. I mean, yeah, I, I do take days off and, you know, it is what it is, but I can still pay my rent, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, if there ever came a point where I couldn't pay my rent, I think uh, I, don't, I don't think streaming would be working out for me anymore. Especially because my rent is not very expensive in Texas here. I mean, honestly, yeah, one, dude, one 24-hour sleep stream, I'll pay my rent for two months, let's go. Uh I mean, realistically speaking here, how much is rent? Uh, well, you know, I don't want to say how much rent is, but it's it's like very cheap. You know what I mean? For Texas, it's mad cheap, dude. And Austin is the more expensive place in all of Texas, but it's still fucking so cheap, at least relatively speaking to fucking California. So, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, yeah, it, it is. Never mind. I, it just it's. You could, I could have a minimum wage job and still pay my rent. Would I be able to afford food? No, but I could still pay my rent even with minimum wage, but I wouldn't be able to eat food and I'd have to fucking eat either garbage can, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Four hundred. No, it's, you know, it's not twelve hundred. It's, you know, if you do some research, you, you'll, you'll know. Pretty sure. Yeah, there is a 24-7 cam. Did you see Volta's had Tory Gold Apartments? I did see that. Yeah, that was very interesting. Very, very a lot, lot of good old a lot of good memories there. That's for fucking sure. A lot of good memories, man. You could live in the outskirts of LA. Houses are much cheaper. Dude, I've been to Orange County in California and it's still expensive as fuck compared to anywhere else in the US. So I don't know about that one, dude. Am I gonna live in Europe? No. I mean I had this one idea, like maybe one day I could stay and live in Japan for like six months or a year, but that would be the only, th Japan would really be the only place I would live abroad from the U.S. Because I like the U.S. I like, you know, the, I, I, I love the U.S. I love how the U.S. is. I love how it works. I love the, you know, democracy and the fucking, you know, capitalism. I love that shit. But Japan, I fuck with Japan. So I'd live there for a year. I would, um, but only a year, Not, nothing longer. Otherwise, you know, because it would just... I, like I said, I like the U.S., so. Thoughts on shaving mustache and leaving beard? I mean, what do you think? <clears throat> Neb says I should shave my mustache and leave the beard. What do you guys think? I think that I will look homeless even more so without the mustache. I think all, I like, I, I'm shaving, like, all of this needs to go. I'm shaving all of it. It's going to be completely, I'm going to look like an iguana, but that's fine. Maybe I'll leave the mustache because, you know, it's kind of funny in Japan. So maybe I'll just leave the mustache and shave all this shit. Yo, Voldasad, if you're watching, if you want to come down and say what's up to the stream, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'll go to Australia one day, of course. I, I've said I wanted to go for a while, but I just haven't because I'm fucking, it's too fucking far of a plane ride. But one day I'll go, I'll just suck it up and fucking take half a Xanax and get on the plane and go. And fucking wake up in Australia, <laughs> to be honest. No more smoke, smoking bud. I smoke wax pens in texas um because it is it just is more convenient for me you know weed is decriminalized in texas but it's still like you can't really smoke it without it being illegal so i smoke a wax pen because then you know the smoke goes away and nobody knows you're smoking weed so i walk around outside and i'll fucking take a hit of the pen and it just no one knows what the fuck i'm smoking and it goes away um to be fair, I go on 6th Street and there's people smoking blunts out there, so I don't think it really matters. But I think the pen is, you know, more convenient because weed here is kind of expensive compared to LA. And I don't want to spend a bunch of money on fucking weed because I don't really care to get high that much. But the pen's like 50 bucks. Pay 50 bucks, you have weed for a couple weeks, it works. 
Yeah, it's like a cartridge, like a like a you know a wax cartridge for a pen. Can you do more Six Street streams? I mean, it's just going. It's just getting drunk. That's all it is, Josh. Just go there. You talk to people. You get drunk. I mean, it's just the same thing all the time. I mean, we could do one before we leave, but you know, that'd be uh, Six Street's only really good on Friday and Saturday, and I'm leaving Saturday, so I don't really want to drink on Friday. Who is the Twitch streamer you talked to? What are you talking about, Dan? The Twitch streamer I've talked to in term like what recently? Because I haven't talked to anybody recently. How long do you think you'll be streaming on YouTube for? Uh, I mean, as long as I can, as long as I can stream, I guess. I don't know. What do you mean? As long as I can stream, as long as I can pay my bills and, you know, I have a fun time doing it. And yeah, are you going insane? Psh, not anymore. Not anymore. A couple months ago, I was going insane, but not anymore. I have fixed my mentality a lot. Okay. I was really fucked up a couple months ago but now i'm like all good some although i still dream about really awful things my dreams every night are are terrible i don't know if it's because of anxiety or what but i every every single night for the past month when i dream it's always me dying <laughs> every single time it's me dying i don't know if what that means it like a, a couple two days ago my stream or my uh, my dream was me drowning the day before that drowning the day before that, I got shot. The day before that, something else. You know what I mean? Like, and I looked it up, and they said when you when you dream of yourself dying, uh, it's like you're going through a transformation or something, right? It's like you're that. That's just what the dream interpretation website says. Like you're going through a a, a change, and it's like um, like when you're drowning, it's like an, um, the water is like emotions that flood in and drown you or something. So. Although yesterday my dream was not dying. It was, um, it was, uh, I brought a caveman back from fucking the caveman er days and I, he was like a Neanderthal or something and my fucking time machine broke and I had to deal with this caveman in my fucking house now. So that was an interesting dream. Imagine listening to online. I mean, I don't know what I, I would listen to online more to myself. I mean, I don't know what the fuck else that means. At least not sleep paralysis, bro. Sleep. I've never had to deal with sleep paralysis. Thank fuck for that. So. You know, I, I consider myself lucky in D. Sleep paralysis sounds fucking awful. You know, I, I love sleeping, dude. Even if my dreams are fucking where I die and stuff, I still, I love sleeping, dude. I prefer to dream than wake up. I don't know if y'all think the same, but I fucking love dreaming. Just, you could do anything. It's, it feels good. You wake up and I'm just like, fuck this, go back to sleep. You just, I prefer to sleep than be awake. 100%. Because then when my dreams are really nice or good and nice and I'm not fucking drowning, it's like, it's fun. You know, it's really, really nice and fun. I don't think it's depression, but it's just dreaming is fun. I don't know. I'm very, my dreams are very lucid all the time. So I, I can't really control my dreams that much, but I definitely can sometimes. Uh, and they're very lucid. So, you know, I, I very much enjoy it. Like my, when I sleep for 12 hours or eight hours, like it does not go by quick i can literally it feels like eight hours it feels like a, it's 12 hours you know what i mean although time doesn't really matter when you're sleeping so it does go by quicker than than usual i know you can control lucid dreams i used to be into that shit when i was younger i used to try to lucid dream every fucking night maybe that's why i'm more lucid now than what i was before i also used to take a medication from my doctor when i was a teenager he Gave me something that like helps me stay asleep because I had sleeping issues when I was growing up. And that medicine literally made you lucid as fuck. It was like a seizure medicine. And it, one of the side effects of the medicine was you stay asleep and your dreams are ridiculous. So I don't fucking know. Who's going with you to Europe? Um, I mean, you already know who's going. So if you don't know by now, then you'll just see it when I post the video on YouTube and the uh, you know make the tweet with the, uh, with the poster and everything. Is the trip going to last only the RuneFest? Well, I think the trip's going to... So I rented the RV from the 9th. So I'm going to get there on the 8th. And I pick up the RV on the 9th. So I'll probably do a stream somewhere in Europe on the 8th. And then, you know, pick the RV up on the 9th. And it's going to... I rented it all the way to the 20th. But we might extend it past the 20th. Because obviously, that's not three weeks. Um, so I think I'm going to stay there for probably like 
till the end of the month, honestly, or like right before my birthday or something, like probably the 25th or 26th or something. Hyphonics banned thoughts? I, I don't know. I don't really know why he got banned, so I can't really give my thoughts on it. If it was because he said the M word, then that's unfortunate. But, you know, just a little unfair, too, because I don't think he knew what the M word meant. I mean, I didn't even know what it meant. So, you know, I don't know. No thoughts on it. I think it's kind of stupid, but it is what it, if that's the reason why he got banned. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Here, let me, uh, I'm going to go get Voldasad real quick. He can uh, come over here and say hi. You ever have him back on WoW? Yeah, Howie, I'm going to be back on WoW. Um, I mean, when I'm in Europe, I won't be on WoW at all. Is it even worth for me to play WoW any, anymore at that point? Like, Because I'm not going to be on WoW for the entire month of September when I'm traveling. So then I'm going to come back and go on World of Warcraft, and I'm going to be level fucking 25, and everyone's going to be level 60. And I'm like, unless WoW is getting constantly new players, it's, I'm going to be the only level 20 in the fucking game. So, Come here. Say what's up to the chat. Hello, chat. What is going on? Not much. I just spent, what, five days? Not even, I was about to say spent five days in Texas, but we were gone for almost every day. What did you think about Tony's Rune West? I had a blast. I, I, I get why people would make fun of it, but, but like, as a person that was going, I really liked it. It was awesome meeting him. Yeah, Tony is really nice, dude. What do you think about Texas? Well, apparently I'm here at the hottest month of the year. Oh, you, yeah. August is the hottest month. Every other month is not so bad, but August, 102 degrees every fucking day. It's very miserable, yeah. But, you know, it's not bad. You get used to it. Yep. I mean, I'm from Florida, so I'm kind of used to it, so it's not really that bad, oh, yeah. to, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, you get the RS Glory and Gold shirt. I got the Rune West shirt. So, oh, I forgot to get all those fucking shirts. He was oh, going for... to give you like 20 of them. I know, and I forgot to fucking take them all, dude. That yeah. sucks. Eh, well, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. What are you going to be doing back in California when you go? Um, oh, moving soon. Um, whatever's blowing up my phone. I'm hoping to continue on the Purple Army Radio. I actually, uh, I actually have this idea where I want to get. There's the couch behind me. I'm getting rid of that couch. I'm going to have a full stand-up green screen, and um, so I can actually. Oh, there we go. I have like a full stand-up green screen along an entire wall so I can actually start standing up and doing different skits and stuff. I'm coming up with ideas. If anyone wants to help me, I, I need as much help as I can get. Yeah, no, it's that's fucking dope, man. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> what have you been doing up there? Just chilling? Nice. No, that's good as fuck, man. What are you gonna what do you think about this EU trip? What do you think about the cast of people? I'm excited. Tell me why. Give me well, give me your reasons. Um, well, a bunch of different countries. That's always fun because normally when you go to a country, it's like that country for a week. So going around. Um, hmm. I'm excited. Uh, Grim. Grim's always a good character, and you haven't really interacted with her too much except for when she came and visited us at the mansion. So yeah. that'll be cool. More interaction with her. Um, who else do we got? Gary. Gary's always. Always a bundle of joy. Um, Adrian will be good, too. Yeah, I'm excited for it. You know, Uber is being really nice to me. Really? Maybe we could take Uber. Replace EBZ. Don't put the can. Don't. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just fucking around. He's doing his own thing. But, you know, that's funny as fuck, dude. Yeah, no, it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. How many of y'all in the chat would want to see Voldasad come to Europe with us? I wish I could. I wish I had more time to. What do you mean? What what what, what stops you're, you? You're leaving on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to move. <laughs> so. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Just don't move until afterward. I already have a date set. I mean, surely, whoever the other, you know, surely your friend can Trust can do it all. Trust me. I wish. I wish I could. 
I really do wish I could. It would have been a blast. I don't doubt it's going to be an amazing trip. Mm, I feel like you could still go. I feel like your friend can handle himself. Or would he get pissed? He'd probably get pissed because he'd have to do all the work. And you know how much shit I own. Yeah. Remember when Remember when you were out of the country and uh, and somebody had to move your shit from house to house while you were off having fun in another fucking country? Yeah, yeah. How many times did that happen? Only like once. Hold on. And it only happened because I, I hired movers as well. And then we had Jacob too. Not every time. So I mean, I think there was only one time where yeah, you did all the work. Twice. But, twice? Yeah. What was the second time? first one and then uh you stayed in england i think when we were uh out of were you there when we went to curson from vins 2 to curson yeah i was were you yeah because when i came back from rune fest last year i was in no, a hotel i was you in a hotel not. for a month you no you were not i remember J jake and i were packing all your shit oh yeah that's yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. no no yeah you guys packed but i think i helped unpack Oh, okay. You did the unpacking. Or we hired a movers or something. I don't fucking even know, dude, to be honest. I don't remember. But, I mean, yeah, that's true. I, I get it. Yeah. I fucking get it. That's, well, that's unfortunate. It I, is. But, I mean, if oh. you want to if you want to meet halfway after you're done moving, you're more than welcome to as Thank well. Thank you. I appreciate all the opportunities, and I'll definitely go on some whatever events next. I'll be here. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so, I mean, you're leaving tomorrow. I am. That sucks. I only got to spend, what, two days in Texas. I know. Well, I guess we were in Kansas, too. We were. Yeah, that, that, was, that was fun. Kansas is kind of like Texas, I mm -hmm. guess. A little bit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is fine. I mean, Volta has said he can come back whenever, so. He's not fucking tied down in L.A. Nope. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. Who leaked my phone? No, I'm kidding. Nobody did. No, but it's been nice seeing you again. It is. It's, I'm sure the viewers really enjoyed it as well. Yeah, we haven't really spoken in length since the mansion ended, so it was good to it was good to be stuck in a car with you for ten and a half hours. <laughs> Twenty hours yeah. all together. Yeah. No, it was really good. I fucking enjoyed it a lot mm -hmm. because uh, yeah, I've been kind of kind of lonely here. I'm sorry. I can come back whenever. And yes, we did suck each other's dick mm -hmm. this week. What is this? Are you in touch with Chris Hansen? Maybe he wants to go into EU tour with you. He's trying to transition from TV to YouTube. Yo, hey, Chris Hansen, hit me up, bro. Let's go to Europe, bro. Let's do it. I'll give. I'll put a nice studio for you in the motherfucking RV. You can, like, call up all the fucking weirdos that you interview. Hunt some EU brothers. Yeah, bro. Get, <laughs> bro, we can talk to some... Talk to some EU motherfucking ass weirdos, dude. That's fine. We'll rent a house out. Put them, bring them over to the house. It's all good, dog. What's up? But uh, no, that's funny as shit. No, but thank thank you for coming and saying hi then to thank the chat. You. Oh, of course, it's been fun. Is there anything you want to say to the chat? Uh, I just I'm happy to be here, and I definitely want to come back as much as I can. Oh, I've shit. had a blast. Go on more adventures. Oh, he really likes Snoopy too. I like Snoopy a lot. Snoopy is fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Oh. And in case you're wondering, yes, I have somebody coming to the house, watching Snoopy and the house for three weeks, um, you know, when we're gone. So he's not going to be in like a fucking kennel or something for three weeks. He's going to be uh, here at the house and someone's going to come stay here for a couple weeks and watch him. Oh, two dollars. You have to hug. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm. Two dollars. Thank you, Pro Nation. Mm. Mm. All right. We, I mean, we, dude, I know we do. We. We do way more than that, bro. Hugging is nothing, bro. We fucking do some gay ass shit. What do you think when I talk about the gay shit? It doesn't bother me. It's fine that I just tell everybody what we do? Yeah. Because I, I would hope that they know it's just trolls. Well, they, <laughs> I mean, they don't, whatever. They don't. They, they, they think we're serious, dude. As long as I know what's real. That's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. dude, EBZ freaks the fuck out when you do gay shit with him. No, it's even Gary freaks the fuck out. It's it's not it's not the same. With you, I could do like I love I just I don't know, bro. I just I like hanging out with somebody who just is open to just do the fucking funny trolls because no one else does it. I try to kiss Gary, he's like, fuck no. I try to touch EBZ, he's like, get the fuck away from me. Yeah. But with you, you know, it's like we do all the things. Yeah. 
Fuck it. I don't take it seriously. <laughs> oh man, because you're both gay. I know. Tell, That's it. Yeah. tell me about it. And I've yeah, I've missed your fucking vape clouds. Yeah, I bet. Oh man. Let's see. Let's see a fat rip. Fat rip. Don't cough. I promise you my lips are cleaner than your hands. Oh, yeah, that's true. This has the timer on it. It does. Let's do a competition for old time's sake. Okay. Let's see who can vape longer. Okay. All right, so this is at right here is a timer, 0.1 seconds. So let's see if I can – let's see if I can hit 10 seconds. You won't. On 70 watts. You're not going to last three seconds. Six point five seconds. Six point six seconds. Impressive. Six point six. Well, now it's all heated up because of you, but I'll try. Let's let it cool down. Let's see okay. if you can beat six point six. Okay. Um, give me thirty seconds for it to cool down. Nails are yellow, bro. I've been eating takis. Yeah, my nails are fucking red. I've been eating my. I'm eating hella takis, bro. Excuse me. <coughs> a little bard to bread content with a bard to beard to beard. What did he say? Beard to beard? Is that what you're saying? Beer. Oh, why is it wet, dude? I sweat. I'm not used to this shit. Bro, oh, it's air hot. conditioned in the house. What do you mean? It's on eco mode. I tried to turn on the AC and it's like, no, you set it to eco mode. Well, eco is 72. But you always have it on 60. Yeah, so, I, mean, I, guess... I, I blast that shit to 60. Bro, 72, dog. All right, all right, 6.6. .6. Yeah, well, we're not gonna kiss, but thank you. So Damn much. it! Six point four. Oh, dude, come on, you're the vape god, bro. Six point four. Well, let me see if I can still do the uh, the the rings. Go. Jeremy, he has Captain Crunch in the in the, uh, in the closet, actually. No, that's <clears throat> my my rings are a little bit uh, rusty, but it's all good. Yeah, no, we I did not put Cam Crunch in his fucking butthole. Don't worry. Eco modes for broke boys. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Every month? What do you mean, dude? Every I'm so pissed. Listen, every single month, my 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 motherfucking electric bill has been almost two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's nuts. Almost two hundred. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, why the fuck is this happening? So we put on eco mode at 72 degrees. So eco mode is basically just 72 degrees. And then when nobody's home, it turns off, uh, you know, when nobody's home. So it's like, and that has lowered my electric bill to less than $100 a month. So why the fuck would I not do that? I don't need the air conditioning on when we're not home. Okay. So 72 I, is not low as fuck, Cole, but all right. 72 is... What do you mean? Dude, 60 is ridiculous. If I have to wear a jacket in my house, that's fucking ridiculous. But I don't know. How does it know nobody's home? Um, I don't really know, to be honest, but it it does. I think it's, we have a phone app with the with the motherfucking Ness. So I think when we're like, when we leave the house, it like under, like it knows that. But I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. But I put it on eco and it just fucking works. But I don't know. But yeah, I'm... It's gonna. I'm excited, bro. Saturday. It's gonna be nuts. That'll be good content. And we have these lights that I bought. So if you uh, watch the 24-hour cam, and you do the thing on Mixer with the mix play, and you like send sparks, which are free, um, then you can like change the lighting in the RV. And I have some other things too, but I don't know how to implement those things yet. But we have the lights at, at least. So you know, we have one thing implemented so far. When you get far away from the nest, it changes. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. If you need money to stream every day, Eagles bills paid. Thank you so much, Pro Nation. I appreciate that, homie. 78 all day. That's ridiculous, bro. 70. 70. Who the fuck is their air conditioning at 78? Like, what? You're a. Bro, like, you're a fucking tribesman, dude. You're like a fucking. You live in a volcano, dog. What are you talking about? That's insane. Who, like, nobody literally has 78 as their air conditioning. You're trolling. But I don't know. 72. Snoopy, you're so cute, baby. Oh, yes. So you're going to stream when you get back? Are you going to stream here before you leave? Or back in California? Probably back in California. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm, like I said, I'll probably do one more at the old place, and then I'm going to tear everything down and try to create it again. 
I was getting sick of that couch behind me. Anyone who was watching my Purple Army radios, I had a green screen, but I had a couch behind me that was taking up one third of the green screen real estate. I'm talking here, Snoopy. So you're you're so. you have any future plans for the radio show? Like, what's the what's the future, long term future of that looking like? I have to stream every other day to hit 100 by the end of the year. So 100 what? Episodes. That was my okay. goal from the beginning of the year was 100 episodes. Um, yeah, I. I, well, I don't know if you're gonna hit that. Every other day, bro. I know, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, no, but I, I realize I. I gotta change it up. The call. I'm not getting. If anyone was watching the early Purple Army radios, it was trolls. It was people pretending to be you, Sam Pepper. People pretending to be EBZ. Yeah. And now it's all fuck Ice Poseidon, and then they hang up. So it's like that's no fun for me. That's no fun for the viewers. So I got. I got to figure something out for sure. Maybe have like. Uh... A vetting process. How? I don't know. How the fuck do radio stations do it when they when people call in? I mean, they have they hire employees to do it. Your roommate. Well, well, your roommate. Well, one man show. I mean, then it's gonna make it hard. Yeah. This guy has a suggestion: make a podcast type show with guests on it. I think you'd do good with the with a podcast. I agree. I think some of my best radio shows were when I had uh, guests on. I had Bjorn. Uh, even when I had Blade back in the uh, mansion as a guest, like those streams were good. Oh, bold, you'll see a starfish. What is that? No, no starfish. Thank you, dude. But yeah, no, I think. Uh, Wake up. That was a great stream too. Yeah. Yeah, you with a guest is always really good. Mm -hmm. And then when you take calls, I feel like they're more talking about the guests on the yeah. show as well. So. I agree. Which is nice, but I don't know. But um, oh, the butler. You can interview the butlers. All that shit. Yeah. That'd be cool. Get all the. If I could get all five butlers back, that'd be actually pretty sick. I mean, that'd be hard, though. It would be very hard. They would do it. I mean, Bell's there. He's probably parked inside your house. Yeah. And then same with... The only one who I haven't heard anything about is JJ. Because I know Hector's always streaming with Petey. Lucha's doing his own stream. JJ went back to real life, bro. Yeah, he, had, he, had, he had school and all this shit. JJ's gone. I haven't heard anything from JJ. I mean, that's not going to be very hard. So thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you, B. Um, yeah. So fucking sweet. That's I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good. But yeah, I'm the first one to admit that I'm struggling figuring out how to adjust this radio show at the current. So if anyone has ideas, like DM me anywhere. Voldasad.com has all my social. You can message me anywhere, and I'm taking any suggestion. I try to respond to every message. So, first one to admit, I need help. And if anyone would like to help me out, I am all ears. Sweet. Yeah, I su I suggested that he should prob that he should do like some more. I don't know. Like no. Like I think he should not do the calling stuff so much sometimes, and do more of like uh, watching like things that happen. Like what's the fucking what's that guy's name on YouTube who does the news? Uh, Steve Lochner, Agenda Free. Agenda. I think he should yeah. do more like Agenda Free TV oh, yeah. kind of shit. Texas I, got shot up. Let me monetize this for four hours while I well, make just, money off a tragedy that happened. Well, I mean, it's not like I mean, That's don't what all happens. Don't put it like that. Maybe put it like you're you know you you put you get you give your take on like the news and like things that are going on in the world. The world's sad, dude. But I mean, because you like political stuff, I so do. I think you would fit for that role really well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at, at least if the callers are getting AIDS, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. Twitch news. Or you get Chris on your show. I could get Chris on your show. That'd be great. <laughs> that would be funny as fuck. Stop biting me. Uh, Snoopy. Snoopy. He likes the bite, but he it, does. it, it doesn't hurt, though. It's fine. All right, well... It's been nice talking. Oh, thank you. Thanks for bringing me down here. <laughs> of course. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, the adventure call. I really, that was fun. I did yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to do, I should, next week I'll plan to do another adventure. Those were a lot of fun. Or you can get Laura on your show and just smash. No. She has Chicken Andy. I'm not going to break apart that amazing relationship that they developed. Oh, yeah, they're fucking dating. Yeah, they're a couple now. To each their own, I guess. I don't know, but fuck it, dude. Although I think she would uh, 
I think you can make it happen, but I don't know. You're right. Don't be a homewrecker. How do we connect Wild to Oculus Go? Virtual desktop. It's an app on the computer you have to download. Did Paul really call in? Uh, when I I have I don't think I've ever called into his their Voldis Head oh, show. Oh, they're talking about the um the adventure one. Oh yeah, I tried to call in, but it didn't work out. Yeah. Who's going on the RV? I, we've said it a bunch of times. You'll just have to wait and see when I make the Twitter video or make the tweet and make the uh, video on my YouTube channel. It's uh, everyone that you would expect at this point. So thank you. We're around England. Are you around? We're not going to England this, this time around. It's, it's it's not part of the itinerary. But why did you delete the last Mario Party stream with Vold and Paul? Shouldn't be deleted. Or Vod with Paul? It shouldn't be deleted. Um, I mostly just unlist them. But also, uh, all my VODs are re-uploaded onto archive.org through uh, one of my friends who has a bot that records it. So they're still there. And also, you, yeah, you, and yeah, I don't know. That works out. Mm -hmm. Ghost politics. You know who Ghost is? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, something like that I think you would be a really good fit for as well. Thank you. Do a radio show tomorrow or something if Volzak stay a few more days? I mean, he's more than welcome to stay motherfucking until we go to Europe, but uh, I think he has to go back tomorrow so we can move. I do, fortunately. But yeah, we might swamp. Like I said, uh, plane tickets are very cheap here, so I can. Yeah, you said you pay like eighty bucks, right? Or uh, hundred? Yeah, it was like fifty each way. God, yeah. God bless Frontier Airlines. Honestly, that's. Stop fighting me. I don't know what it is about Austin, but flying into Austin is so fucking cheap. I flew to Austin from Detroit after we came back from the Canada trip. It was like thirty dollars yeah. for a one way. I was like, what the fuck on Spirit or Delta or something? I don't remember, but it was ridiculous. Yeah, I came. I, I came during a. Um, Holiday, Labor Day weekend, so it was even more expensive, and I got my tickets for like 120. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I just assume because Austin this is uh, has like a small airport, but I don't really know. Are you getting a bigger RV than last time? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be I don't know 3,500 kg, whatever that is, fucking seven beds, so it's pretty big, yeah. But not too big where I need a license or anything. Yeah. I did not. What do you mean? Somebody got a BJ on stream? Landon tells. I know some of his videos are out there and stuff, but he did a really good uh, recap of last night's streams that and how nuts it was. And so, yeah, I did watch it. It was. What happened? She was. Uh, she switched her camera to Chatterbait and started blowing people. On Chatterbait. Yeah. But you need to give an ID. She get banned on Chatterbait. Pretty sure he had it. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, but the, I the person you're I just watched Landon tells the person you're it. blowing also needs to have an ID to show Chatterbait. Well, I'm just saying I I just watched Landon tells recap of it last night. It was actually really good. Is Periscope okay? Bro, blowing, Periscope. blowing. She's just blowing like all these different people on like what like Blade and shit. I she I think she's well she was blowing her boyfriend on camera and then boyfriend she, like, and then she started humping Bjorn, but Bjorn threw her off pretty quickly. Bro, is that? That's some cuck shit. I don't even know. That's some weird cuck shit, It bro. is, yeah. Right, that's fuck, That's some weird shit. I don't know. I, I can tell you're bored where you're living. There's nothing like L.A., and you know it. Do you ever see yourself moving back there? I mean, maybe one day, but, you know, not anytime soon. That wasn't her boyfriend? Okay. It was a stream sniper? Even better. Bro, that's some weird ass shit. I can see why Bjorn threw her off. Why mm -hmm. the fuck would he want that? That's some weird... On Periscope? That's some weird shit. Yeah. All right, whatever, I guess. It is what it is. I asked her for a threesome in July. You did. On, on Discord. Soup. Hey. RuneFest this year. What's up? So. What's up, Soup? Uh, I mean, I don't think Volda's ad's going. I might go, but I don't I don't know yet. I, I mean, you're already going to be in Europe. Yeah, I'm already going to be in Europe. When is RuneFest? It's like the first week of October. Yeah, see, I'm probably going to be back already. I'm not going to want to fly back to fucking Europe in October when I just came back. So, Bummer. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see. It depends how I feel at that point, I guess. It is what it is, but uh, best rapper. All right, thank you, dude. Best rapper in the game, bro. You offered me a threesome, still down, bro. If anyone in the chat wants a threesome, just let me know. Motherfucker, hit me up. <laughs> Men, female, anybody. Well, let's go. That's the best rapper in the scene right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. No, but it's been nice. Uh, I'm glad you came down and said hi to the chat. Thank you. And yeah, thank you, chat. And yeah, hopefully we'll hang out after your stream, and then hopefully I'll be back before the end of the year, hundred percent. Of course you will. Yeah, hundred hundred percent. Yeah. 
Next time anything's going on or if you're just lonely again, just calm me down. I'm always lonely, bro. Okay. Can always use you. I'll be back. Good. All right. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Thanks for being kind. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back upstairs and I'm flying out tomorrow. I'll see you guys around. Peace. All right. All right I'll see you after the stream. All right. Peace. Don't worry, chat. You'll see Voldus out again on my stream sooner or later. He'll he'll be back. Because I I really enjoy hanging out with him and he's always welcome here, so. It just sucks that he's moving right now, so he had to like he had to go back like tomorrow or whatever instead of staying longer. But it is what it is, I guess. Fuck it, dude. Fold sounds like he could be in the Simpsons. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the Simpsons have a voice for everybody, dude. He just started chicken farm. I mean, you can't really do that in L.A. It's very hard, but yeah, that would be, uh, that'd be some funny shit, dude. How are you feeling today? You're eating healthy? I'm, I had Chick-fil-A today, so I mean, sometimes eating healthy, but not, not, not often, but I, I do feel good. What's up, Ryan? How you doing, bro? Carry read anyone's comments, but I'm trying. Thoughts on only use me leg saying Twitch will never unban you? I mean, to be fair, what does he know? <laughs> like, to be fair. Imagine paying around when you have free. Okay, thank you so much, dude. Yeah, Chick fil A is not healthy, but it's better than McDonald's, I suppose. So it is what it is. Kick the jewel. Bro, I saw this video. I don't know if it's real or not, but let me show you. I, I, I think it's bullshit, but I don't know. Um, what was the guy's name? I think the video was called Quit Smoking Jewel. And it showed that Jewel gives you like, not, not cancer, but it gives you like an, like something, like it fucks up your lungs. All right, guys, two things. I just shot out of the gym, so I'm slightly more motivated than usual. Motivated. I don't know if this video is true or not, but it's, he basically says that Jules cause fucking cancer. I'm trying to find the picture. He had a, right here. A healthy update for me. And here on my chat is the best friend Glenn after one year. At most, he has been on it. Yo, thank you so much, Dream Dreams for the motherfucking ass member, dude. I appreciate that. Um so, do you guys really think Jewel does that to you? Because I haven't really felt any physical difference from smoking a jewel that you know what i mean as opposed to not i don't know man because like when you smoke cigarettes your shit like you're like you can tell you're smoking cigarettes after a while because you're, that shit fucks you up thank you howie i appreciate it homie it would be a shame if you didn't hang out with why why would i hang out with few bucks what do you mean thank you dude I, I don't know but thank you i appreciate it dude um i don't think kimberly would like that um yeah, I don't know. Listen, I I like smoking Jewel. I, I like the feeling of nicotine. Um, it, I just hope to God my lungs don't end up like this. Now, when I go to the doctor and get a checkup, I'll have him check my lungs and, you know, hope to God the Jewel's not fucking up. Because, you know, obviously if the Jewel fucks your lungs up, I will stop Jeweling. But I enjoy the, the feeling of nicotine, so I don't want to have to stop Jeweling. Now, I'm not addicted to nicotine. I, when I travel, I don't smoke nicotine at all, typically. Um, you know, when I was in Canada, I don't think I jeweled that much. So, because I'm like busy with shit. So, and I usually don't take it with me because I just lose it. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I just hope I don't have fucking popcorn long or some. Then again, Jewel's new. Maybe in 40 years, they'll come up with a new thing that shows that Jewel gave her own cancer. And in 40 years, everyone's going to have fucking cancer, but I just hope not. I wish there was just a way to smoke nicotine. That didn't cause cancer. Wouldn't that be great? Because, like I said, it's like a it's a nice feeling. It gives like a, I don't know if I sound like a crackhead right now, but I think Jewel feels good, or you know, nicotine in general feels good. But obviously, cigarettes are disgusting, so I don't I don't fuck with cigarettes. 
And all cigarettes are also like that's a that's like a, a boomer thing, you know what I mean? That's like a thing from like back in the fucking seventies. There's better ways to feel good. I mean, that's true, but I don't know. I like juuling. I, I I like the flavors. I have pineapple flavors and fruit punch and stuff. I just like I like how it tastes. I like how it feels. I don't know. Start working out with Kim. Kimberly wants to work out, but uh, I don't know. I I need to get myself motivated to do such a thing. Last RV trip, maxing 25k viewers. How will you make this hype? Like last trip, um, I mean, I don't really know. I guess just going on a trip in general is already pretty hype, but I don't know. Hopefully it does well. You know what I mean? I mean, we don't have an actual thing we're going to. Like all the other trips, we always had like a, like an end goal, like a place that we were going. And I don't have that this time around. We're just traveling around Europe. So we'll see. I mean, if the content's good, then that's all that really matters. I suppose Chernobyl could be like that goal because I've always wanted to go there and, you know, we're going to go there, so. First thing I watched of you was that we got a haircut by that big black woman and she got like $500 in donations for it. That was a long time ago, bro. That was, that was motherfucking I was on Twitch, I think. You're super bored and lazy. That's why you have to sit and enjoy vaping and just filling a void. Maybe that's true. I don't know. If I start working out, then maybe I wouldn't have to jewel to feel the 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 void. Bjorn is Mexican. Two point zero. He made out with the girl minutes after she gave someone a BJ. Yeah, that's. I mean, well, Bjorn threw it off. Threw her off. I mean, that's. I don't know. That's that's whack as fuck. If some girl just has come in her mouth, I'm not kissing her. Like that's fucking weird. Says Jewel Pods almost killed him after lungs collapse. Well, I mean, he probably had some lung issues if his lungs collapse. My lungs have been fine. Bro, when I was in L.A. Okay, so right now I'm probably smoking maybe like one pod every two days, right? One pod every three days. It's not that bad. When I was in L.A., I smoked three pods a day. And I didn't even think that was possible. No, I smoked four pods a day. I remember buying a, pa a four pack of these every single day in L.A. For... The, the, pretty much the entire time I was at the mansion. Literally three or four uh, pods a day. One, because they tasted really good. And two, I was stressed the fuck out. But, you know, now, you know, one pod every two days every, or every three days. It's not so bad. But I did. I, I will admit, when I was smoking the four pods a day, I could feel my myself having bad side effects. Like, I couldn't breathe well anymore like i was hyperventilating walking five steps you know what i mean so now it's not like it's not like that anymore i i feel fine now but when i was doing the four pods a day for like two weeks oh my god that was bad dude get your lungs checked oh, i climbed mount fuji i'm fine i dude i climbed mount fuji i'm good i don't need to check my lungs it's all good but when i go to the doctor i'll you know i'll have him check my shit I smoked four mill milliliters a day, no big deal. Yeah, well, that's four milliliters of vapes. This is, you know, have some more nicotine. I don't think nicotine does anything bad to your lungs. I think it's the, if anything, it's the, it's the ju the, you know, the vegetable glycerin or whatever the fuck they have in jewels. Thank you, Moonchild. I appreciate that. Do you miss weed? Oh, I still smoke weed. I mean, I don't miss weed. I still smoke it. I don't smoke buds. I smoke wax, but I still smoke weed. I still, you know, motherfucking ass get high so i i am not missing any of that vegetable glycerin isn't dangerous well then i mean they say it gives you popcorn lungs but i don't know let's see popcorn lungs what do we have here let's see what does a popcorn lung even look like i mean to be fair i don't think that's real so yeah there's like bronchitis and shit I actually did have a, somebody that I did know actually did get bronchitis from vaping. He didn't vape jewels. He had a, like a, he had a mod, like a sub mod. And he did say he, he got bronchitis from vaping. Now I think he already had bronchitis or he had some kind of issue, but cause I don't have fucking bronchitis. So I don't know. Either way, if there ever comes a day where I get bronchitis or pneumonia or some weird shit from vaping, that's, I'm just going to stop then. But until I have any negative side effects, I don't, I don't, there's no reason for me to stop. 
you know, there's no research on, on vaping that says that it's bad for you, like, so much. So, you know, we'll see. I don't still poop blood. No, I, I don't. <laughs> Thanks and thoughts on, yeah. I already talked about Hyphonics getting banned. I, I, if, if, it got, if it got banned for saying the M word, I, I don't exactly agree with that. But I don't know. They use vapor as a pre-existing condition for propaganda. That's what I'm thinking too. I think uh, there's some propaganda involved, so it's, you know the tobacco companies can get big again. But then again, they already own Juul and vaping. You know, tobacco companies own fucking vapes. Like they own the vape companies. So I don't think they want Juuling to die. You know what I mean? How many fifty dollars subs you have now? I have two fifty dollars subs, and I actually gave I refunded one of the fifty dollars subs half the money because um you know he said he didn't i don't know he didn't get what he expected and i'm like i, I, I don't have i'm not offering anything for the 50 dollar subs so <laughs> i'm sorry you know what i mean but i gave him half back because you know youtube takes their 30 percent so What happened to the studio in Austin? I, I mean, I'm sure at some point I'll get it, but like I said, there's some other priorities going on right now. So, but I assume that I will get it eventually. How long till, till Hyphonics comes back to YouTube? Well, I mean, I assume if Hyphonics is permanently banned, he'll stream on YouTube or Mixer. But I, you know, hopefully he's not permanently banned. But you know, I guess we'll see. I'll have to ask him about it. What are you going to do in Europe? Well, besides all the mini games that I have for everyone on the RV, um, we're, and besides just traveling, you know, we're going to do just what you do, like stuff that you do in those countries. You know, if we go to the Czech Republic, you know, we're going to go or Prague or something, you know, I'm going to go check out all the fucking bit places in Prague and all these different areas. And, you know, I don't know, maybe look up on Google, like, okay, what do you do in fucking Czech Republic and go, go do some of that stuff. So I don't really know what we're going to do, but I'm, you know, we'll figure it out when we get there. And then I have, you know, like little games and stuff. Like maybe uh, we do a thing where viewers can vote, like who gets handcuffed to who for like 24 hours or something. You know, just things that can spice it up and, you know, cause some uh, some funny shit to happen. Like Grimoire can get handcuffed to fucking Adrian Chen or something. That would be, if the viewers voted, that'd be funny as fuck. But we are probably avoiding Switzerland. Switzerland is probably the only country we're not going to because. I had a bad experience last time I went there. Yeah, I really doubt Petey said that, but thank you, dude. I think Petey uh, is going to be in Europe as well um, when we go there. So we're probably going to meet up with Petey a little bit or for a couple of days if he actually goes to Europe. Please no bar and drinking streams. Well, I don't plan to do bar and drinking streams every day. No. Well, we go to bars and drink sometimes. Sure. But. Not every day. No, of course. I'm not. I, I can't drink every day. I feel like shit. PD Plastic, yeah. Are you going to spin the wheel? Uh, no, I think we'll just do a thing where viewers vote for stuff. Now when we go to Amsterdam. I'll probably hit up that weed bar or the weed restaurants and go smoke weed in there at the end of like a stream or something, but that would be good. Are you worried of the random ordering? Uh, no, I'm not. That would be funny. That's what makes it funny, you know? Make sure Kim gets involved isn't too shy. Don't worry. She's going to be doing some streaming too, I think. So, um, She's not going to be too shy. Don't worry, dude. Gary wants the wheel. What the fuck is the wheel? What do you mean? The, like you spin a fucking wheel and then, you know, that, that decides what happens with the sh No, that's no viewers should be able to vote in a fucking poll. What sort of mini games, you know, who's involved with each mini game. Like we're not doing a fucking wheel, dude. That's stupid. What is she going to stream on since you're banned on Twitch? Uh, I mean, Kimberly's going to stream on Twitch. I just won't be on her stream. You ever thought about exclusive content on your YouTube channel or recaps at least? I mean, what do you mean? That's what we do all the time. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, man. I stream on YouTube. And then I'll mix her too. How you feeling today? You seem chill and happy. I'm just chilling, bro. How you doing? Look for the lady pimp again? Bro, she'll fucking kill me, dog. Well, I guess we'll we'll have Gary with us, so he can help. He can help me uh, not die, so we're good. 
Why don't you let viewers decide what's on the wheel? I mean, we could, but I think a poll would be better. I mean, would you guys prefer to vote what ha what happens in these mini games or a fucking wheel that you put stuff on? Like, I think people would rather vote, dude, because like maybe one day there's like something going on and you're like, all right, I want to see this person do this, and that that's like because you know depending on the day, you know, every day the vibe is gonna be different, so people might change their opinions. You know what I mean? Really? You guys really want the wheel? I mean, well, I guess we could do both, but I mean, I prefer the voting thing, so. But I don't know, man. I guess if I guess people can just vote for the same things every time and it wouldn't be that fun, but I don't think they would do that, to be fair. I don't know. We'll figure it out, dude, and we'll do it. Ever thought about taking Sam with you? No, I have not. Hot sauce in the anus, dude. That sounds horrifying, to be fair. All right, well, I'm going to end the stream. Um, yeah, I am going to be probably streaming, I would say, all the way until Saturday. I'll probably stream every day, at least for a little bit, until Saturday. Um, because, you know, I want to obviously stream leading up to the trip so it's not just like out of nowhere but i'm gonna upload a video on youtube tomorrow probably and make a tweet talking about the trip with the whole fucking you know with everything going on so that will be exciting maybe tomorrow we can play those games we can play um ancestors and we can play you know the other one i forgot the name of that's like a choice game or something so we can do that and then uh yeah i'll try to stream at least a little bit every day until saturday <clears throat> because if I take days off, how do I hype the trip up? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, and then Saturday, I'm probably not streaming because we're going to be flying. And then Monday, or Sunday, the 8th, I land in the Netherlands. So I'm probably going to do a stream in the Netherlands on the 8th, just like chilling, just like seeing what, you know, just like chilling in the Netherlands with Kimberly or something. And then the 9th, that's when we pick up the RV, and that's when the shit starts. So... And that is on Monday, so perfect. All righty. So with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Motherfucking play. We're going to play those games and go from there. So with that said, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys later. Let's see. Is there anyone online right now that we can give a host to? Or just like, I can't really host on YouTube, but I can like link somebody's thing. Hmm. Our good boy Skippy. Our good boy LA Beast. Post LA Beast in the chat. Go say hi. Go say what's, go go in this chat. Be like, yo, what's up? And Ruben. No, not Ruben. LA Beast, dog. Say what's up to him, and I will see y'all later. All right? Peace, guys. Love you. And I hope you're just excited as I am. All right. I'll see you guys soon.